and a kill for Kristen Claymeyer, the senior leader. And a creative celebration dance by the uh, Lake Travis Bay. Going everywhere here tonight for the Cavaliers. Rio on the serve, everybody scrambling. And a heat sinking missile of pain, Sasha the Slayer. Here comes Hamilton, yes. and gets the kill and the cut. Attack chance for the Cavaliers, Akron with the set, Erie with the kill! Yes! Takes set two! Yes! Wow, there is no denying Clay Meyer tonight. Erie with the swagger and the dagger! The Cav Dome is rocking, Mike! Hit again by Wheeler. Wheeler in the sky keeps on turning! Woo! And when you come into Lake Travis, welcome to Block City! This is Lake Travis Lady Cavaliers Volleyball on KMAX Sports. The undisputed leader in high school volleyball broadcasting. And now, here's your broadcast producer, as well as the voice of Lady Cavaliers Volleyball, Mike Youngblood. Cavaliers! Cavaliers! All right, boys, come on in for the other selfie. Oh, yeah. It's so close. So, Kalina, you go. <laughs> and welcome, everyone. It's the big one tonight. Lake Travis Westlake here on KMAX Sports. These two uh, prize fighters and a good old fashioned slobber knocker here to try to take the district title. And we've got the dream team here in the booth. We've got Mike Youngblood, hey, that's me. We've got Mike Biesecker, and we've got Bobby Joe. Yes, sir. It, 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 we're gonna have to be a team of our own, passing, setting, tilling, and we'll, we'll do our best here to, to try to bring you our best broadcast and, and do this game justice, because there is nothing bigger than this for both of these schools, tied up at the district standings, and we'll take a glance at that if you check out your screen. Again, 13 and one versus 13 and one. And we've come full circle here from last year, a tough loss for the Cavaliers. And, well, I mean, this is, this is for all the marbles of this guy's for at least to take that number one seed. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think it's only fitting that it comes back to this gym after last year. I think both of you guys were here, and, uh, you know, it was a heartbreaking loss for, for the program and for, for Coach Bourne and, the, and, the, and these seniors and juniors that were in that match. So... You know, I think you don't want it any other way. You want to you go out beating the, the top. Westlake has 14 straight district titles. And that's what we're here to stop today, boys. Wow. I mean, I think, you know, that, that, that this team can do it. And the, the senior leadership is there. And uh, I think it's exciting that we're back here with everything on the line. I agree, guys. Coach Bourne has been focusing all season long on team unity, believing that we're family, and eliminating unforced errors. And it's worked. We cannot deny the fact that it's worked. Obviously, Coach Marcy over here at Westlake is doing good stuff as well. Same record, same intensity. I'm looking forward to seeing who comes out hungry tonight, boys. And I think both of these teams are hungry. I mean, Lake Travis came into that first one. Guns a-blazing, us against the world. And now, you know, Westlake has had to kind of stew over that. I mean, they saw Lake Travis celebrate the way they did. That I think they understood that was a monumental occasion. But I want to tell you about a guy that I, I just broadcast with at, at a Tripping Springs Baseball. His name is Keith Johnson. He always he told me the simplest, wisest thing about competition I ever I've ever seen. He said, "You know, you can tell who's going to win by the by the way they put their shoes on." And I thought, "Well, what, what do you mean by that, Keith? That doesn't make any sense." And he says, "Just watch somebody put their shoes on and step onto the court." And said, "You'll know who's the team that's going to win just by their mentality." And, yeah, wow. we saw the uh, Cavaliers step out of the locker room. It was all business walking across that floor. And uh, the mission continues. Well, we'll I think got to get that accomplished tonight. That's a great point. I, I think, Mike, uh, you know, this is going to be a mental toughness game. Who has the will to win? They match up really well, well against each other. Um, you know, Lake Travis took a, a, a difficult loss on Tuesday night. So, for me... You know, one of the big keys for me is for them to get off to a fast start. I, I, I think, you know, we're at the visitors' uh, gym. It's pretty crowded in here, pretty pretty good crowd tonight. And uh, I think getting off to a fast start and, and then really, you know, there's going to be a lot of statistical keys we can talk about, but uh, whoever is the, the mentally toughest and who wants it the most, I think is going to who's going to win this match tonight. And uh, and, and most continuously, because everybody wants yeah. it in that first set. It's just like, yep. you know, when you take – a shot a little bit 
when, when you take a hard driven ball at you and everybody on the other side screaming and jumping up and down, it's like, does that empower you or does that disengage you? And, and the great teams can take that and use that as fuel and move on to the next spot. And, you know, but we'll see which of that is for the Cavaliers. I mean, a nervous night Tuesday night is one I think we'll all just try to let go of and realize, you know, part of the path towards getting to be your best. But, you know, for this Cavalier team, this is what you work for, and you certainly hope they embrace the moment and have fun and, you know, give it all they got out here. Well, you know, it's interesting in a golf, in, in a golf swing, 99.9% .9 of the work is done prior to ball contact. You only contact the ball for a split second, maybe a third of a second, and then the whole thing is done. So it leads you to believe that what was done in preparation is what will result in the touch. So really what we're going to see here is who, who was prepared this week? Who started winning this game Monday? Who started winning this game in practice on Tuesday during drill work? Which team was mentally firing on all cylinders and coming here in the gym tonight knowing, like you said, that they were going to swagger, they were going to put those shoes on and win? So Mike Emblett, Mike Biesecker, Bobby Jones, the dream team here on KMAX Sports. Give a shout out to Rockin' Randy Fry, our QAM producer. Les Clary uh, taking a trip up to Minnesota. So he's got the night off and you know, I feel for him. He, he wants to go north, go watch the Minnesota Vikings. So he will not be uh, back in the KMAX studio. So shout out to Les, he's been our, our guy for most of the year. So we do want to thank our sponsors for this broadcast. Again, Keller Williams Realty and Capital Title bringing you Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball. We've got Bobby Jones from Project Serve. We want to remind you to check out ProjectServeVP.com and on Instagram and Facebook. Bobby's even trying to turn me into a volleyball player. It's a little bit of a struggle. struggle. It's not, not pretty at times, <laughs> but, you know, but uh, he's uh, done a terrific job just trying to teach me some stuff. And I'm learning terms and stuff that go back in the archives. Go, holy smokes, how did I miss that? My, you're a hard worker, man, and uh, and these Lake Travis girls are hard workers. Yeah. When when you see and um, uh, analyst Mike Bisecker over here was shedding some light on on even on uh, my story uh, or or my experience, you know, beach volleyball, the way that the way that the sport interacts with the body, it's it's a different, it breeds a different type of athlete. It's a hungrier athlete. It's a stronger, more aware athlete, Mike. I agree, and I I, I think. You know, you have a lot of beach players here in your program on the Lake Travis Cavaliers. And, you know, we, one thing that people don't talk about the beach game is I think it does create mental toughness. Um, you're on an island out there when you're playing beach. It's you and another player. And if you're the weaker player on that side, whether you're the weaker hitter or you're the weaker passer, you're going to get targeted. So to have five, six girls in your program, I, I think is, is, is also just part of the whole evolution of this Lake Travis program. Um, now that they have a few sand courts, you start to see sand shots in the game. But I think the mental toughness is there. And I, and I got to tell you, right now, I'm seeing them warm up with purpose. Um, you mentioned it, like, the, 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 to be prepared. Um, I've seen sometimes in these warm-ups be a little flat. Um, but obviously, you know, I think their heads are in the game. And um, I'm excited. I, I think they are going to get off to a fast start tonight. I, I'm very hopeful of that. Well, I mean, let, let, let's talk strategy. Let's talk shop here. I got, I got yeah. two good minds for the yep. game. I, I want to get to the, the nitty-gritty, the yep. details. So, sure. you know, we, we saw in the last match, like, Travis controlled the net for blocking game, right? They so, did. you know, now as we've seen teams go against Lake Travis to try to mitigate some of the stuff that they do, we've seen a lot of hard cut shots. We've seen a lot of diagonal. You don't see a whole lot of line shots. You tend to see more of the drops over, you know, the williams Wall, Sasha the Slayer, and Cassidy area. You know, all that. And, you know, I'm curious what you guys think Westlake's going to try to do to change up from the first time. Because the first time, uh, Lake Travis had all the success, but uh, it, it's a new day. Yeah, well, I, I'll start with that. I, I think um, if they were in the gym Tuesday night, they saw a pretty good recipe against us. So, first, I suspect they're going to try to run a little faster offense. Um, our middles are, are and our defense and our blocking is a huge part of our game. Um, the way you try to mitigate that is to run a faster offense to create gaps in the seams in the blocks. Um, I suspect them to try to run a little faster offense than they did the first time we played them. Um, the other thing is, I, you know, I think they're going to key on our middles. Our middles went to work on them last time, both in, in defense but also in hitting. So I think they're going to try to take away our middles and force our pins to beat them. Um, and, and, you know, our pins are going to have to be ready for that. But that, that's, that's kind of what I see now. 
I will say Jada Burkle, um, one of their top seniors, um, she hit point. 057 against us in the first match. She's averaging about 350 this year. I don't expect her to do that again. So we're going to need to be prepared for her to have a little bit bigger night. Um, but that's that's my thoughts, Bobby. I don't know what it, you. It what would you, be what hard to imagine if she did. But I mean, like Travis, they're, they're up to the task, and if they can do that again, they're going to win this one. Agreed. Well, one thing that Lake Travis brought to the table last time that I noticed was we spread the ball around the floor. We had five, six hitters that were scoring points in our game, which tells me one thing, Mike. It tells me that if we got even lukewarm in one area, we were quick to distribute the ball and find different ways to side out. I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back against Westlake. When you talk about being able to go at them in the pins, going at them in the middles, we were dominating with our setter uh, middle uh, timing, okay? So we were siding out well in the middle, spreading the ball around, but like you said, I do not expect Westlake to be weak-minded in their own gym, and I definitely feel like running the faster offense with the tip offense over the blocks, it, that is, we're not weak there, but it's not our strongest asset. I agree. Like, I, 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 that's a great point, Bobby. I think that has been our strength, I think, on offense. Maddie Williams has come along on the right side. Keely Hamilton has come along on the right side. Jams and Kristen have been playing at a high level the whole time yep. this season. And then our middles have been playing well. So we can really spread that defense out. We have to continue to be able to do that. And I think, you know, and two people we haven't talked about that help with that is Kelsey Cohen had an unbelievable beat match. Beat me to it. I mean, I, I, know, I know Mike J was going to go there. Uh, I, I, she's in a, you know, she is definitely up for district libero of the year. Um, and Westlake match, she was awesome. And Abby Watts is really taking control. And Carson um, of spreading that Heppel. ball around. Yep. Yeah, and Carson Heppel, yep. And they're going to be really pivotal is because, you know, a, when you're playing behind the blockers there, you have to make that read there as to what shot you're going to face. And, you know, Lake Travis gen generally tended to play deep. So, you know, for me, as you watch Carson, as you watch Abby, who are on either left back or right back when they're taking next cut shots, et cetera, I mean, th their defense tonight will be really key. If they can dig up some balls back there and keep some plays alive and keep momentum away from Lake Travis, I mean, I mean, th th that's a great opportunity, and we'll see if the coach decides to go with Rio and Cohen together in the back row. Yep. If yep. you've got you know two defensive specialists or who they're going to send, like I'm going to be really just curious as to how the chess pieces align for both these teams because both have a lot of players that they can choose from well, to, to match up with. And it's interesting you say that right now on the court, Margaret Newton, the sophomore, is in the libero jersey. The last time we played Westlake, it was Ellie Turner. Ellie Turner's committed as a libero to go play at Oregon State. So wow. that is a pretty big move on their part. I don't know if it's wow. something they saw or how she's been playing, but but they have a sophomore in there, libero looks like. So that, that you know, we'll see if that, that changes things up a little bit. But I I think it really, you know, Bobby mentioned it earlier, it's been a theme of, of Coach Bourne's the whole year. I think what happens on our side of that is the most important thing, and that's controlling our errors. I think it's terminating when we get a chance to terminating, but extending rallies when we when we don't have a ball to terminate. I think, you know, playing smart volleyball, forcing them um, to get into longer rallies, and that plays to our defense a little bit in our blocking. So that that's what I hope to see tonight. I hope I see, you know, see a, a, a team that's playing under control, uh, passing well, and um, you know, being in system that we can work the ball around to, to, to our to our strong hitters. Well, let me go back to the point about Kelsey Cohen, Mike. Kelsey is the backbone of this defense and the backbone of the offense in the sense of ball control of first, first reception. You see teams target other players besides serving the libero, obviously. Yep. But on the backside defense, when Kelsey Cohen played this Westlake team at the Lake Travis gym, she was, as the Spanish say, el fuego. Every single touch was like a, a she was like a panther out there. So she will make... I don't want to say make or break, but she will make or make this Lake Travis defense because if we're diming up 2.79, 2.83, 2.99 on these back row uh, hard driven digs, we are absolutely going to be deadly in termination ball. Yeah, that, that, those transition balls, Bobby, are, are huge, right? If you, if you can put the ball on a dime, on a hard hit ball, and then go right to your middle, it's almost unstoppable. And you know, it's interesting, what Hayes did really well, and I don't want to keep going back to that match, but um, 
they set the right side all night long, and I couldn't figure out why they were doing that until I went back and watched the video. They were trying to hit away from Kelsey Cohen. So instead of going cross court to Kelsey as the outside hitter, they were hitting at our setter, taking our setter out of play, and also hitting away from Kelsey, and it and it had an impact on us. So wow. let's hope Westlake didn't see that. Yeah. But but Kelsey's a dominant force in the back row, and and like you said, she she's not only um, important to our defense; she starts all the offensive plays as well. Absolutely. So. Um, you know, I, I think she's going to come out and, and have a, a, a classic Kelsey night. She's been playing at a high level. We, she really has. We talked a little bit in the text exchange. That I think I thought was going to be really important. The AF surf game has got to pick it up a little bit. That, I mean, we, I think we've surfed fine, but, you know, compared to when we put in that West Sec matchup, like, they really were excellent in that area. And surf receive as well. As I think that was another thing in the Hayes matchup that got a little bit sideways. You know, yeah, hey, not every night's perfect. We, we, we Listen, totally get that. With, with Kristen Claymeyer, Taylor Rio, and Amy Watts, Lord have mercy, that kid gets aces. All right? So you're right. We do have to come out. We have to dominate the serving side of the ball. But here's the thing. If we can serve aggressive and serve low air, we're going to be unstoppable Absolutely. with the rest of the game. It's going to start there. That's where you're going to see serious momentum start to build is when we're – Rolling off easy points on defense due to challenging serves. Yeah, and I, and I would say, um, you know, if I if I go to my keys, Mike and, and Bobby, um, I've been I've been throwing this stat out the whole season. Um, this team is 22 and one when we hit above 200. I mean, 200 is a good hit, hit team hitting percentage. It's not it's not optimal, but it's very good. Um, and the reason we can get by by just getting to 200 is because how strong our defense and our blocking is. But we're 22 and one when we hit over 200. We hit right at 200 when we beat Westlake earlier this year. So I think that's a key. Um, I think it is going to be a key for us to continue to keep um, Burkle to, to slow her down, force some of the younger players on this team to beat us. She's a senior leader, um, force some of them to beat us. Um, and then I think it's getting off to a fast start. So in the last 17 Lake Travis Westlake matches, the team that won the first set uh, 15 uh, 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 times, the team that won the first set won those matches. So. Um, and then the last time that didn't happen was in the gym here last year. And then my last key is just you got to want it tonight, right? This is we have five senior leaders here that have been in this match uh, for 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 you know for the last four years, and um, they've been working very hard. Um, whoever's the mentally toughest and has the will to win is going to win, no matter what the X's and O's are. We got to will ourselves to win tonight. That that that's my thoughts. Mike B. Secker bringing the heat. Mike Young went with you, Bobby Jones, and uh, we're almost about set to get with our introductions, final huddles here for these teams before uh, we turn it away here to the PA announcer. The Battle of the Lakes. Here we are, finally, folks. Here we go. You've wanted it. You got it. Been waiting for a very long time to try to get to this point. And well, Cavs Nation, this one's for you. Go get them. We've got a nice environment here. I know there's a big football game outside, but that's not even in, in our thoughts right now. This is for everything. And for everything you ever worked for in your life to, to get to these big matches, this is the peak of your life. But we're excited to see what our squad can do. We believe that the squad's going to do whatever it takes. Let's go!
is no time to read the players for our match tonight. First introducing Blake Travis, a senior little rocker number one, Cassidy Yuri. A senior right side number two, Savannah Aragado. A junior center number three, Eddie Watts. A junior right side number four, McKenna Eklund. A senior outside number five, Kristen Claymeyer. A junior center right side number six, Carson Hempel. A senior libero number 21, Kelsey Cohen. A junior middle blocker number eight, Claire Evans. A junior outside number nine, Keely Hamilton. A junior defensive specialist number 10, Jordan Hybus. A senior middle blocker number 11, Sasha Rubich. A sophomore center, number 12, Taylor Rio. A freshman outsider, number 14, Arden B. Center. A sophomore outsider, number 15, Jameson Wheeler. A senior right side, number 18, Madison Williams. A junior middle blocker, number 19, Sydney Thompson. A junior defensive specialist, number 20, Ginger Baldwin. CC4C, Elena Green. Manager, Kate Portick. Manager, Matthew Villa Gomez. The assistant coaches for Lake Travis are Taylor Moreno and Jennifer DeFore. And now would you please welcome the head coach of Lake Travis, Brandon Sporin. Certainly was a spirited introduction. That was good. It was, a, you know, they have a nice crowd here tonight. Um, you know, new coach. Uh, the, you know, so a different coach than, than was here last year. We haven't talked a lot about her. Um, from what I hear, she's certainly bringing some some discipline to the program. Um, but this is Brandis Bourne's fourth year. This is her senior class, right? She's had this group for four years. Yep. Exactly. And you mentioned it togetherness. I I really believe. That, that, that she's been instilling that for the last four years with this group and um, you know I think that's what's gonna what it's gonna take is, is uh, them playing as one unit and uh, uh, I think she has them playing uh, you know that way right now well coach Marcy is a, uh, a Dallas native actually Louisville and um, oddly enough her and I have been friends for almost a decade if not a little longer um, through beach volleyball so she actually is a really laid back coach. Uh, she has discipline, absolutely. Um, what I see with the Westlake squad, it's, it, it's a little bit more of a, a familial vibe, a little bit more um, uh, a together vibe. Uh, I, I see the girls kind of walking, talking, and hugging uh, as they enter the gym. I, 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 I was invited back to the coach's office just a little while ago to get a, a Chick-fil-A sandwich. 
So uh, thank you, Coach Marcy, for the Chick-fil-A sandwich and the rest of the Westlake coaching staff. Uh, well, guys been very, they, very... They, they know not to give that to us. They know <laughs> too much about Team LT. They're not going to do us any favor. And we, we don't expect it to. That's what rivalry is all about. Neutral. It's a special I'm moment. Beach near I'm Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Young with Bobby Beats Jones, neutral. Mike Bisek with the dream Well, you're team. the only Lake Travis crowd up here, I and think, right? That's I'm why I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. McKenna Eklund will float this one. All right. Here we go. Forward, pass behind the attack line. Strike on left side. Received by Cohen. Fourth side on the toe. Left side. Set up. There. Here comes Claymire. Claymire with a cut shot. Cut up. Received left back. Set around to Burke. Burke hey! back. Jousted back. Claymire touched it. That did not uh, get on the second rebound. But, hey, fifth yeah. volleyball to start. Nice. Sash the Slayer there with a the block touch. Um, I'll tell you what, um, what's, uh, Katie has Jada, oh, Jada, Jada might have been celebrating that point, but she knows that there's a blocker in front of her on the next one. And there comes the serve received here by Blake Travis, received by Cohen, set by Eklund. There comes Claymire with a drop shot, okay. over, it over, goes into the net once, twice, third time, slapped over. Maddie, two-hand touch the deep corner, okay. passed around, two-handed here from the middle. Deep. Nice. Right, left back. Kelsey Cohen off to a strong center. start. Maddie on the slide. Maddie's tipped and blocked at the net. Nice Cavalier point. point. Nice Maddie point. On the slide. That was a nice, the nice long rally. We had a lot, a lot of nice plays in there. I think you know you saw a few beach roll shots. What I liked about that, the sets were off the net, and we tried to extend that rally instead of try to terminate and and you know made an error. Make it, make it up there. Exactly. Morning serve one to one. Clay Meyer sends it over. Set here to the left side. Try to get through the blockers. Maddie and Sasha there. Uh, between those two, I think Maddie got a hand on it, but a point here for Westlake at the start. Hey guys, I think we need to keep the ball off that new libero. She's passing with a lot of confidence. Let's, yeah. let's pick the other five spots on the floor, yep. Good point. Good and point. it's going to be Baptiste coming in here to serve, I believe, out there with Hashman, Rory, Williams, Jada Burkle, and here's the surface seed by Claymire. Eklund set up in the air. Here comes Maddie, two-handed touch deep in the corner. Set again here to the left side. Tip on over, received here by Jams. Set to Eklund behind. Here comes Maddie. Maddie with a perfect cut shot right inside the line on the far side of the floor. Maddie, the machine. Yeah, Maddie's been on fire lately. She's been pounding the ball on the, on the you know, cross court, right at the 10-foot line. You know, perfect pass in system. You know, let's keep that going. All right, two to two. Cohen's going to serve this one here a few feet behind the line. And at her feet, launches it over down the line. Pass straight up in the air. Pass out of the system here to the left side. Received by Claymeyer, deep middle of the floor. Eklund sets it here to the left side. Here comes Jams. Jams gets it inside the line as the wheeler in the sky keeps on turning. Well, guys. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. My fourth key here, Kelsey Cohen. How is she going to start off the game? She looks clear-headed. She looks focused. She's passing nails, boys. Absolutely. Cohen going to continue the rally here on the serve. Ooh, let's let serve go. Oh, wow, spinning God. serve received here by Westlake. Here tipped off the block. Jams gets in the far side. Pass in the play. Eklund's going to bump it back to Wheeler. Wheeler cuts it again. Yes. Wheeler. Wheeler two in a row. Hey, I, you, you didn't get to call the lineups, Mike, because Bobby and I were talking too much. But, uh, <laughs> like old, ch old pals. I but love McKenna it. Eklund is starting a setting. That's a little yeah, bit of a change for us. All right, so Coach Bourne, you know, she's playing a little chess as well. I love this dream team that we've got here. But on the floor here for the Cavaliers is Cohen. Lines it deep, let right back. Set here in the middle of the net. Quick hit, slam in the middle. That was not touched by Lake Travis, or was it? Arms, that was uh, Zorovic yeah. with a touch. And I think that may have gone off the hands of the middle here for Lake Travis. So, so again, let's go back to uh, James Wheeler. One of the best in the game that I have ever seen at the indoor game, getting up high contact point, getting her feet to the ball, and creating a safe yet aggressive shot. It's not a roll shot. It's not a hit. It's a something else, Fredrickson man. And she's dangerous. Switch play Meyer. Maddie down the line. A little Touch too strong. The and okay, double. first unforced error on our side. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, you know, she might have been trying to go high hand off the block there. Just missed it. Maddie's been outstanding. A Cavs gone heavy with her on the slot, and she just keeps converting on all areas of the floor. Jams receives a third. Eflin set. Tip on over by Erie. Saved by Westlake. Set behind to the right side. Cuts and received by Eklund. Cohen with the pass the straight up in the air. Maddie throws it off a one foot. Received middle of the floor by Newton. Set here to the outside. Left side. Tip covered by Claymar. Great hustle. Pass back as a freebie here for Westlake. Set here to the right side. Here comes the strike. Received by Cohen. It's going to go to the other side of the net. But yeah, Cohen there down the line. You, you can play that ball, can't you? I thought you could. I know in, in club ball you can play that ball. Good good dig by Kel you know, Kelsey. You know, just a little outside the antenna. Five to four, Chaps leading, and it's going to bring Fredrickson on the serve against spins it down the line to Champs. Good passer to Eklund, jump set, big swing by Erie, blocked back, point here for the Chaps. 
Good, good swing, yo. We're in system. We got what we wanted there. It was a good swing. Better block by Westlake. And the chaps up six to four. Here in set one, we thank you for joining us. Guys, we need, if we're going to run that middle tempo set, that one and a half, two ball that they're trying to run over there on the 31 side, you've got to get... Oh, we got a scramble here. Cavalier's yep. going to send a high spinning free ball there by Maddie on the third. Here comes a set by Fredrickson, hit by Zurvik, and gets it through the block. Kasky, one-on-one uh, -on -one there in the middle. Sure. And a good swing there by Zurvik. So good. what good. we're seeing what we're seeing here is a little bit of distress in our setter transition to our, to our pins and our hitters. Uh, that ball where um, McClung is, is pursuing to the back right corner. She, there can't be any guess on who's going to get second ball. Claymire sends it here, and there's a kill for Chance Wheeler Damn down the line, Wheeler. inside the line, yeah, point for the Cavaliers. Yep. Good set there by Eklund, doing great a great shot. job here at the start by McKenna Eklund. Great wow. shot, great shot by Jams down the line. She, she hit a couple cross courts, she went down the line. She's leading the pins in hitting percentage, and you just saw why right there. And now, let's see if we can keep it off this, this uh, starting libero for Westleg. Yeah, she's and here comes Watts else. on the serve. Nope. Sent to that Go new right to deep her. middle of the floor. They'll set it here to the outside. Tipped off the black. Ton of hawked up in the air by Claymont. Talk here to the left side. Here comes Jams. Cuts it diagonal. Received by Westlake. Set behind her to the right side. Oh, the net. Point for the Cavaliers. Good job. Another great try. This is what you said. She puts pressure. She doesn't just roll it over. Jams puts some pressure on them. Got them a little out of system. But I agree. we got to stop serving that libero. That libero is passing at a, at a three right now. Seven to six. Here's nice. the serve by yes. Ross and an eighth. Okay. For Abby Gigawatts. Now I call her the bank teller because she's always cashing in. And oh, got plenty of dimes to give out here. Oh, this I like game. it. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seven oh, to seven. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Mike's, it, Mike's we, we got, we're bringing there. the heat tonight. Let's go, Cavs. <laughs> and yes! Abby wants two ways. Right. Let's go. All right. So, listen, guys, What the, the reason that I'm saying that we need to keep it off this libero from Westlake is not because she's passing well. It's because she's passing with confidence, and it's sprinkling off of the ball, and all the Westlake chaps can feel it. Abby Watts has the exact same effect when she's in for the cast. Spinning reserve, receive right back. They'll go on the give and go here. The right side slap deep. Recovered here by Claymont on the first touch. Watts on the second. Go to the jams. Jams down the left side. Recovered by Newton. Pass here at the front of the net for Westlake. Tack on the left side through the block. And a you know, good cut there on the left side there by Brock. Hey, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. That was, yeah, a, good, that, that was a, a good play. play by us. A better play. That libero is continuing to play at a high level. Margaret Newton. Margaret sophomore. Newton. Yep. And 8-8, eight to eight, Cavaliers back and serve, receive. Tied up here in step one, received by Jams. High up in the air, Watts bump past the right here. Jams cuts again, received on the back side here by Fredrickson. Set across the net, hit hard, received by Claymire. Great passing game by Claymire thus far. Wheeler, the drop shot covered up, left back there by Fredrickson. Set here to the left side, high one received by Cohen. Watts in front of the nets. And Revoid's getting a uh, net, net, net. And they're oh. going to say that's not an, that is, uh, it's not an, a no, net, not. Net. no, so it'll be a point here for West, like nine to eight, they lead. Abby came in and gave us a nice run, like you said. She does, it does, we score a lot of points when she's on the court. Well, and, and again, for from sort of a, a mental, spiritual, comes, emotional. I'm sorry, Jam's coming down here nice on the right step. side. And a kill on the right side. I, I, I love to talk, but sometimes we've got to like, jump uh, in. <laughs> they're set, they're go, we, we are, we've got great energy. chemistry here, though. Absolutely. No, uh, Watts brings a, 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 an emotional settlement, a very calm demeanor uh, to this late Travis squad when she's on the court. 9-9, nine nine. here comes Taylor Diamond. Rhea sends it here to the far side, corner right side, back. Here comes the attack on the side. Ooh, it's going to be an error on Westlake. Katie Hashman, that ball just a little bit in front of her and into the net point for the Cavaliers. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, I have, I have jams with four kills on six swings, so she's off to a very fast start. 10 to 9, Cavaliers lead by one. Float serve, nearly overpass. Two in, it dropped down there by Erie. Whoa! Anytime so anybody tries to land on the friendly shores of Lake Erie, well, a little, little right overpass back there. Out. So Taylor Rio has been a he's been a very good server for us. She serves aggressive. We've been keeping it away from the libero. I like it. And Diamond Rio sends it over, received in between the middle of the right back. Here comes the strike, the drop shot. Ooh, Hamilton pancake, pancake still alive. Erie trying to keep that one up. And the International House of Pancakes, Kelsey Cohen doing what she does best, but that ball stays on the Mike Travis side. And it's 11 to 10, Cavaliers still lead by one. And Mike, you, you'll, you'll appreciate this. Of the last 10 touches, that uh, the last 10 rallies, uh, four of those rallies were touched by the libero and they were all terminated, okay? 
So again, it's not necessarily that she's passing that great, but they are very comfortable swinging off of her pass. Pass around here, Clay Meyer punches it on Dumbo. over here on the third. Set here behind, here comes the strike on the right side. Blocked! Welcome to Block City! Yep, I like Come that. Come to town near you! Break my stats all day long, I love it. <laughs> 12 to 10, Cass Fieri and Kristen Clay Meyer, they're pillars of this program. Hey, making plays happen for Cavs Nation. Let's get it. Erie on the serve here for the Cavaliers. Floats it, spinning serve received here near side of the floor. Set behind, here comes the strike on the right side. Erie in the back yeah, row with a did. great pass here to Watts. Here comes Keeley, the killer. Yes, killer yes. touch. Yes. Point for the Cavaliers. Yes. Deflected. Cass deflected Cass by Fredrickson. Cassidy brings great energy to the court. Both blocking, serving, and, and a, a nice dig there by the middle the middle <laughs> blocker and uh, kept that rally alive and Keeley put it away. Here we go, Cassidy Erie, wide drive serve, send out here at Hashman, nearly an ace. Westlake scrambling, they'll send it deep, real quick pass, quick set, quick hit yes. by Rudich, spin yes. off the block, and a kill for that, Sasha the Slayer. That's great volleyball, Mike and Bobby. That is transition volleyball at its best. That was, that was, that was a beautiful play. Absolutely. 14 to 10, Mike, Mike, and Bobby up here at Westlake. We got a great game going on. And, uh, yeah, hey, like Travis, neck and neck early on, neck and neck, and now we start to see what we saw the first time around starting to pull away here in the middle of the set. Well, let's talk about point number two, spreading the ball around. Mm. Okay, we've got Sasha Rudich with a kill. We've got uh, Jams going nuts over there, four of six, like Mike said. Keeley uh, got one. Ke Keeley got a tie. So, so uh, what we're seeing is, is Lake Travis going back to that multi faceted arsenal offensively and to be 100% honest with you I got a couple of key players on the west side Hashman not not really pulling the weight on yeah, this, on the strong side they're serving to her she's she's not passing at the level that that they need her to pass at so they're not able to to, to spread the ball around they're a one dimensional offense right now and we're keen on that so let's keep it going right here this is where we want to extend the lead coming out of this timeout let's try to extend the lead by a point or two mike and out of the timeout 14 to 10 cavaliers lead forward here with the line drive serve received a hash from pass right up the air bump set here to the left side Ashman with a cut received by rio high up up the ceiling erie keeps it up with two hands nice. watch sends it here on the third newton pass here comes the set by fredericks behind Attack cuts to Hamilton there first. Actually goes back. Ah. And Hamilton, I think, expecting that ball was going to stay on the Cavalier side, and that just drifted uh, across the net. A little, un little unforced there, but you're right, Bobby. They're 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 keying in on Hashman. Um, she's not passing that well on serve receive, and um, you know that was just an unforced, a little bit of unforced error on our side, but that's okay. Let's get a side out right here and get the ball back. Yeah, Keeley's got to lock out that platform when she goes to that left set. We can't have an unforced errors in a match this tight. Um, but uh, she's playing well otherwise. Bully Travis and serve receive. Oh. Low pass by Clay Meyer. It's going to be an ace between uh, Watts and Eklund. And a uh, point here for Westlake. All right, good. on to the yep. next play. Yep, a little, again, an unforced error on our side. Let's not, let's let's keep extending this lead or get, keep this lead going. And received here by Rio. Good pass here to Watts for the net. Here comes Sasha. Sasha's blocked back. Hey, that's a good block there in the middle by that kid. Was that going to be Perry? They're getting excited. 13 to 14, in, uh, you know, never yeah, the box Sasha. I'm going to go ahead and say this. When Westlake has time to set up in the middle, we do need to push pins. When we're in transition, we run the middle set better yep. than anybody. Watts sends it here to Claymeyer. Over two blocks, cut shot that was not touched by Westlake. Tied up at 14. Yeah, so this is this is a little concerning. Hopefully get a timeout. Yep, timeout. So this is kind of like what we saw at Hayes. We'd get a four or five point lead. We would have an error or two. They would make a play, and we would give it back. So Bobby we're going to need to figure that out. Too, and, yeah. uh, you know, the teams, I think, have really become to understood that, you know, when, when Lake Travis going to bring the heat, when you've got Sasha in there, that they bunch up that stuff, and you've got some of the corners deep, you've got the front corners deep and the drop zones. I, I agree we'll with Bobby. See that, that, I, mean, I, I agree with your assessment. I agree with Bobby. That was a great assessment because on serve receive, they're keying in on the middle, right? They have all the time in the day. Transitions when we're feeding that. That would, that would be the time to feed the pin, but... We've had a couple errors here. This is what we need to, you know, we need to get this ball back um, and, and grab some momentum back. We had Absolutely. some nice momentum there. And, and we, we need to have some senior leadership here. Kristen Claymeyer, back to pass, Unchar uncharacteristic error a second ago. She's got to be a, a rock solid pass for and us. And here comes Kristen, double K, block back. Cavaliers back up in the air. Now they go to the right side. McKenna Eklund sends Eklund, it diagonal deep, deep corner. Shot. Here it comes the touch here on the third side. Ashman sends it real. Great pass here, spinning here to Watts. Sends it to Claymeyer. Over two blocks, block back. Cavaliers in position, but a good block there on the we'll right block. side by Westlake. Yeah, that was a good block. It was a, you know, 
Kristen, uh, you know, she's getting, they're, they're paying attention to her tonight, so she's going to need to find a way to make some plays. Well, she's getting double teamed down there on that she strong is. side. She's going to need to get real creative on let, her tips. Let's serve right shots. here by Claymeyer. Watson dropped by Eklund, covered up here by Purple. Set here to the outside, hit by Hashman, and okay. we'll get it through the block. All right, so listen, with a great setter on the floor for Lake Travis, we've got to key in and understand that they are key. They are queuing on our strong side hitter, set our weak side hitter, but set her a ball that she can get up and crank on. Right now we're running like a, like a small two set on that back side, and we're really not closing our step close to the ball and getting our feet there. Bobby Jones, great stuff. Received by Claymeyer here on the serve. Watts sets it. Here comes the stack for the yes! middle. Kristen Claymeyer with the conversion. Great pass, I, great I, finish. I, I really like the fact that we move her around a little bit. You know, Kristen's a little bit of an undersized outside. Absolutely. And, and you have to move her around. You have to get her in positions where she can have one blocker up there and take advantage. What a confident way to come back and side out after you've been blocked twice and then go find a completely different route to see. Set here by Hashman and gets it through the block. Maddie and Williams roll and uh, Sasha there and just through the hand, 17-15. Interesting. She's she's two of seven, two of eight right now. Yep. Not signing out incredibly well, but she punched it through that time. 17 to 15 Cavaliers. There's a passer by Cohen set her to the outside. Maddie oh, on the oh, left oh. side. Bring the heat. Okay. Maddie Machine. Boy, she is playing with a lot of confidence in the last six, seven matches. She's been hitting at a high percent. She is. She's bringing the heat when she needs to, and um, she's playing really well, really well. Man, she had a hammer right there. Well, Claymont here on the serve receive. Here in the middle of the floor by Ashman, jump set. Burkle blocked back. And recovered here by Westlake. Newton sets it here to the left side. Sends a diagonal. Cohen, nice great pass. Cohen. A great dig. Here comes Maddie again down the right Woo! side. Lasers right at Newton and passed over the Raptors and the beyond. And into the okay. net on the air on the third touch yeah, by yeah. Westlake. Point Cavaliers tied at 17. Yeah, and, and, and you know that wasn't a point for uh, kill for Maddie, but you know that was her point. She she put pressure on their defense, and like you know we went to the backside. Uh, I, I like it. 17-17, Claymeyer on the serve at her feet, sends it here near yes. cycle, almost an ace. Scrambling around is Westlake. Ooh, has no yes. chance, here's the oh, short freebie. Oh, Excellent straight up in the air. Cohen with the pass, here comes Maddie. Maddie through the two blocks down the line. Pass across the board the right side, not passing the roll shot. Okay. Way too strong by Hashman in the middle. Guys, we Good cannot, idea, but you cannot ignore, props to Westlake, you cannot ignore the perennial digging force that Margaret Newton is. Wow. You see why she has beat out and won that libero jersey. She is unreal with the hard driven ball. Wow, Newton with a dragon pass. Oh. Oh. The Fox City. Jams and Sasha right there on the left side. Play into our strengths right there. That, that was awesome yes. play. And that was a wall up there, and you're, you're right. Margaret Newton is playing at a high level right now. Um, I, you know, Maddie came in here and has just taken over on our side. She's had one kill, but two balls where she put them way out of system. She's swinging aggressively. The only thing I like to see there is, is on that free ball, McKenna McKenna took that free ball. We want to get, you know, let, let the libero take right. that so we can run a play. But you know what? Um, let's take this two-point lead and try to extend now. We continue to give it back. Let's try to extend. Yeah, you know, Chuck well, always talked about play out of timeouts, and maybe I'll leave that into you guys. Absolutely. Uh, last time when Chuck was in the house, uh, he, he was tracking which team scored the first point off of the timeout, so it'll be interesting to see who goes here. Mike, I gotta actually disagree with you. I don't necessarily agree that we need to have uh, um, Mike uh, B. By the way. Mike B. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, pass that first ball. It's scary to the other team when a libero can come in and set a kill shot. No, she's great. Oh, great right. short serve here by Claymire on the great, timeout. Great Hit the right side. Brooklyn drop shot. Cohen saves it. Here's the set by Eklund. Go back to Jams. And oh. that was not spun off the block, but a good attack there by the Wheeler in the sky. Now, Kelsey, is, Kelsey has an unbelievable second ball uh, set. She's a very, very good setter. You know, Jams um, just missed that by about four inches down the line. 19 to 18, Cavaliers lead and in serve receive. And receives this one too strong. Service error on uh, Riley Baptiste. 20 to 18, we're getting close. Well, I tell you, this match is a little different than the last match. You know, th th we have not been apart from each other by two to four points this whole set. Very close. And here we go, Kelsey Cohen. Good serve, reset at Newton. Great pass again by Newton here to the left side. Here comes the strike into the net. We've got Lake Erie and the Williams wall on the right side. And, well, not able to clear the top of the tape and a point for the Cavaliers, 21-18.
Gentlemen, at the beginning of the game, we talked about pressure. Being able to keep pressure on the Westlake defense to be able to pass these balls. And right now, we are serving tough to Mike Jay. Oh, in here! Oh, my Lord. Boy, Williams. I think they might have had some miscommunication on that floor set to nobody. Perfect timing for that comment. Mike Jay was all over it talking about, listen, yep. we've got to serve tough. He talked about it. Kelsey Cohen with the pressure serve. 22-18. Cohen playing great. Ooh, pass out of the system. Here comes the third one short of the net. Sent by Zerver here with a pass. Eckelman set. Here he again! And oh, Oh, great oh. dig up there by Newton. Hit on the left side, center deep. Wow. Play by there to back the left back corner. Eckham with a bump pass. Here comes Maddie cut ah. too strong in front of the Westlake Boy. bench. But that was some great volleyball, was I, that not? Yeah, I, I was a great dig by Barton Newton. I got, you got to give it, give it up. That, that. That she's about five really foot two. She looks like she weighs 80 pounds, and she's digging everything. That that could be a critical point. Uh, let's keep an eye on that. But I will say, we are playing very error-free volleyball right now. We're let's playing, keep it going. Absolutely. We're playing error-free, and we're playing confident. We're playing team camaraderie ball. Everybody's Play sharing mark. credit. Here comes Chams. Drop shot. Deep corner covered up by Hashman. Right back here on the left side. Into the net. Into the net. 23-19. Cavaliers lead by four. All right. Let's push two right here. We got Abby. She's second in our team in, in aces. She's an aggressive server. Um, you know, she's been a spark when she gets on the court. Let's keep it going right here, and let's get two points. We got Jams, Cassidy, McKenna, Kelsey, Kristen Claymire, and now Watts on the serve. Sends it right back corner. Quick set to overhanded by Zervik. Set by Watts for the other side. Jams! Yeah. That was a great set! Pump up the Jams! Set. Great set. set. Gentlemen, we've been talking about keeping errors free on our side. We have big blockers on the west side side. We talked about the setting location early in the first set. That set's got to be coming back and off of that outside hitter to go reach peak with no blocker in front. 24-19 potential set point. Pass out of play. Back into play here on the Westlake side. Hashman sends it here on the third. Cole with the first pass. Watts with a set. Here with the kill. No, uh, to bring back memory lane. Here we the Hashman at attack right side. Received by Cohen. Watts here to the left side, or the right side, gets attacked by Eklund! Eklund gets a kill and points, finish off point 25. Man, I thought Erie was going to get that first one, but Eklund finishes Listen. off here on the right side. Cavaliers take step one, 25 to Listen, 19. It's, it's all about the defense of Westlake, keeping pressure on them. Cassidy Erie, maybe she didn't side out those last two swings, but she is putting so much pressure on that defense to keep the ball in system so that they can try to set their pins. And let me tell you, it's not happening. And yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We'll, be, we'll take like a minute away. Well, you're listening to Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball up one set to none here at Westlake in the Battle of the Lakes. We'll be right back. That's a lot. The mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate yeah, 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 the killing of companion it. animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help. Adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you are needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. Follow all the game day action right on our Twitter feed at KMAX Sports. Well, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, we got, we got, I'm sorry, Bobby can't be here, here, but you know what time it is? What time is it? It, it, it is time to pump up the chance. I'll pump up the chance. I like it. As we are. Great. First so, you know, I, I'll, 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 I'll talk, you know, you know, we've been talking about a lot of the seniors. Um, both of these teams have, Mike, some, some strong, sensational sophomores, right, on our side. Yeah. I think Jams had a great first set. Um, you know, she's been hitting at an extremely high percentage. She, I think she led probably the, the, the first set in kills. Um, she's doing a great job. On the other side of the day, you have, you know, Katie Hashman, uh, who's committed to play uh, beach volleyball UCLA, I, I believe, for the defending national champions. Um, That's not a bad place to be, huh? Not a bad place to be. And, you know, um, she had some nice kills at the end of that match. Margaret Newton's also a sophomore for, for, for Westlake. So, you know, this is about senior leadership on our side. We have five seniors that are that have been in this match and have a lot of experience playing in this this type of uh, environment 
Uh, but we have a couple sophomores out there getting it done as well. I mean, uh, they can get help wherever you can take it, and there's a, there, there's great players on both of these teams. So, you know, win or lose, I, I mean, this is I mean, this is for the, the hierarchy here in this area about who's the best program. And, you know, that this is not a Westlake team, even if they lose tonight, it's going anywhere. That's right. There's going to be a battle for years and years to come, and, you know, hopefully this is one that we'll talk about for the ages as far as uh, – you know, well, you trying what, to get the lead. That was a really clean set of volleyball for us, Mike. I don't know what you think, but I, we can, were, count, I can count less than five unforced errors on my hands, and I and I feel like we're putting a lot of pressure on them. I don't know if we missed a serve. Um, so uh, you know, the, the dynamic of having Eflin start this match is yeah. so different. You know, her reach is great. I mean, she's such a versatile player that you know sets hits. Yeah, you, know, you can use her a lot of different ways, and I think she's improving as a back row player. And the you know, Cavaliers are just, hey, they're playing calm, they're playing composed, they're playing great volleyball right now, and, and executing. I, you know, I think that's why they felt this confident coming in, because they know that the matchups aren't really in their favor. But, hey, this is a good Westlake team. We'll see if they have a response. Yep. Bobby Jones missed the – Bobby, you missed the chance. We, we played the pump up the jams music. You, you <laughs> totally missed it, but that's all right. Jams Wheeler receives it. So that's here to the left side. Maddie, Maddie in the block into the net. Point for the uh, the Chaps here in set number two. Well, you know, my, one of my keys was winning the first set. So, I mean, we, we, we were very, very clean volleyball there. Let's keep that going. Poised and under control in that first set. Kept pressure on on the uh, serve. Maddie with the drop here after the set from Eklund. Set here to the right side. Burkle tries to throw it. Received by Maddie. Eklund with the bump set from the middle. Here comes Clay Meyer. Two-handed cut oh. into the left side corner front of the net. Great shot there great by the beach kid. Yeah, and great, great hustle play. play. Maddie, Maddie had a nice off-block defense there. And Kristen had nowhere to go and found a way to put a kill down. That's 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 what we want to see from your senior leader. Well, well Mike, Mike B, you talked about Beach making uh, players uh, used to the pressure. Oh, Genevieve Perry with a high ball kill from the middle there. Nice play by her. Two to one, Chaps. Yeah, nice play by Westlake there. They were in system. They fed their middle. Nice play. And it'll be Hashman, UCLA bound. Beach player serving it at Cohen. Passed out of play. Jam sends it back into play. Claymar is going to have to freebie this one. It does not clear the net. Two to one. Now three to one. And, uh, well, yeah, hey, that's just the beginning of the set, too. Yeah, and I, if I'm Coach Bourne, I don't let this get too far, right? Yeah. I, 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 get a, I get a very early timeout if we continue to have a couple unforced errors. Received by Cohen. Set by Eklund behind. Here comes Matty. Matty. Power tip deep here to the left back. Set behind. It comes Brook with the right side. Tipped off the block. Cohen saves it. Eklund now with a set. Sends it across the net. Jam! Spins yes, him through Wheeler. the block. The wagon wheeler gets the kill. Listen, you know, going back to team camaraderie, we saw the ball get spread around the offense a lot last set. We're starting to see the same thing here. I love the pressure that we're putting on that Westlake defense. Three to two, Cavaliers down one. Kelsey, IHOP, Cohen sends it deep court. Hashman pass in front of the net set. Here to the left side, off bounce, hit tipped by Maddie. First put up in the air by Erie. Eklund with the third, the third and here comes Matt. Jams wow. down the line. Jams leaving us speechless right now. We are pumping up the Jams like no other. Three to three. That's a, sophomore, that's a sophomore kid. I mean, you know, three more years of, of her uh, doing that. I mean, she is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Mike J, you talk about a calm confidence spike just now <laughs> that kid came in there she walked into her approach and, and laid it down the line maybe maybe even yawned during the process <laughs> and received really by did. hashman set by roy william burke with a big slam eklund doesn't even blink and passes that one here comes clay meyer on the third pass by burkle hit by genevieve perry underneath that'll be an error on westlake give mckenna eklund that point right Woo! great dig by by her i mean that was great defense McKenna Eklund telling her teammates that she was still in shock. Uh, that's great training by the coaching staff there at Lake Travis to have her train, to have her platform out to receive, receive that dig. Spinning serve by sent by Newton, set from the middle by Williams, touch shot by Burkle. Ooh, Eklund trying to hustle for it. Wielder also there, but a great drop. Great play, you know. You know I'll, I'll take those player. points. I, I think, you know, when teams have to tip over your block to get a point, I think that means you're doing something right. So I, I'll take that. Well, in football, we talked about uh, – Jerseys flying to the ball. How many yellow jerseys? How many black jerseys flying to the ball? Just now we had four kids. Eklund is that eerie kill? Did they say that was in? That was in. That, that was a kill for Cassidy nice. Lake Erie. They, uh, I don't know if the U.S. military launches missiles out of Lake Erie, but uh, <laughs> very dangerous there in the middle. 
Not Great my play. best work. Tag the outside of that line, guys. She is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Five to four, Cavaliers lead here in set two. Up one set to none. Tack on the left side by Westlake. Claymeyer trying to reach for it at the mid. Tied up at five. Good strike there on the left side. I believe that was Brooke Brockman. Might be. He just said, I'll give him that point. You know, when you go high off the hands and you get deflections, you still are earning what I call mental points. Yep. You got to touch on the block. You got to touch yep. on the D. They're Ball's not be, hitting the ground. They're, they're not bouncing exactly. the ball. That's they're mental. That's a mental win. Mental Frederickson exactly. sends it diagonal to jams. Right back. Quick set. Period. Block oh. back. Good set there uh, by Zurbic in the middle. 6'3", junior. Long. Nice basketball player. Uh, turned out to be a pretty good middle here for uh, Westlake. Yep, she's long. Cassidy, Cassidy's been hitting well. Um, and again, from our side, I'm okay with that. Hard hit swing into, you know, better block. Well, here's the deal. But we, I don't know about that's where you want the set to go on that first receiver. We, you we mentioned don't, it. We don't <laughs> want that first ball going to the middle, especially with the 6'1", 6'2". Yeah. Uh, uh, sets it here to champs, right side. And like you said, hitting it here to the outside. Newton puts it yeah, back into play. Hashman sends it on over. Play Meyer with the pass. Now here comes Watts with the set. Here he was the power tip. Newton pass it here to the net. Hit by Brockman deep. Covered by Claymeyer. Pass here to Watts. Hit to the left side. Here comes the Wheeler in the yeah. sky. Oh. Inside the line. Cut it out. Jams is on fire right now. Wow. She's hitting great line shots. Uh. Right down the line, I have her. I have her seven kills versus one error. She's hitting at an unbelievably high percentage right now. And we'll have uh, Taylor Rio, sophomore, in here for the Cavaliers. Low line drive, Sir Senna at Newton, spin here in front of the net, hit to the right side, Ooh. covered up, dug up by uh, by Watts, and quickly deflected at Eklund. That ball drops the full point for the Chaps. Seven to six, the Chaps lead. Great, great swing by Westlake, but you know what? I like it. Abby had a nice touch on the ball. Again, that ball did not hit the ground. Received here by Cohen. Set here by Watts for the net. Here to the left side. Claymeyer. Claymeyer with there the laser on the left side. The rocket by the senior leader, Kristen Claymeyer. And, boy, she, I, that, that'll get her confidence going because she hammered at that one. Yeah, I, I agree. I think getting her, to, you know, getting her off a little bit would be good here. Get her some nice swings where she can kill the ball. She needs to see the ball hit the floor a little bit. 7-7, seven 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 Erie on the start. serve, uh, service error, a little too strong, and, and Erie will, will take a seat, Cohen will come back in. But you know, Cassie's done really good off the serve here for this team this year. Yeah, I think, is that, um, that might be our first uh, service error. I think that's the first service error. 8-7, to seven, here comes the float serve here by Newton, sends it short to Cohen, Watts sets behind, here comes Eklund, the lefty block back, covered by Rudis, still trying to dug it once or twice out of the net. Point here for the Chaps, 9-7, to seven, and... Yeah, hey, this is going to be a battle. We'll keep fighting here for set two. Guys, I'm going to make a bold prediction right now. Just to lay it out there, have, have a little fun. Lay it on me. I've, uh, been, touting, I've been touting this uh, libero from Westlake, Margaret Newton. Uh, oh, uh, she well, is, one shot. Rudick nice. hit the, the happy birthday back on the third touch. Great shot there by Rudick. And a point for the Cavaliers, 9-8. So, Newton's been phenomenal on defense. She's been phenomenal passing the ball. But I am starting to see athletic erosion. She's a small kid. I'm going to see if she can hold up her strength through four and five top sets. My prediction is she's going to break down long term, and this game, this match, is going to be decided possibly by one or two of her errors. Hashman hit from the left side. Eklund sets it. Here comes Claymeyer. Great. Beautiful. Oh, my. That, that kid going to Houston Baptist is getting a great player because that was a phenomenal shot by Kristen Claymeyer on the left side, determined to win this here for Lake Travis. That's two, I think it's actually three kills in a row for her, and um, I like to see her getting getting some momentum here in this match. Eklund line drives it here in middle at Hashman, set here to the outside, a big hit, and Hashman with a kill, and uh, hey, that was that. Hashman, that Hashman finally coming on right there, getting her feet to the ball and actually taking a real big rip. Uh, Kristen Claymeyer showing some, like you said, some evidence of why she's getting a D1 Beach Volleyball Scholarship out to Houston Baptist University with that beach roll shot over the middle. 10-9, to nine, Cavaliers down one, and in serve receive out there with Sasha, Maddie, Taylor, uh, Kelsey, Kristen Claymeyer, and McKenna Eklund. So we've got length, we've got quickness, we've got serve receive, and we've got the Slayer and the Machine. So uh, I haven't thought of anything from McKenna yet. Uh, that's one kid I've snuffed as to make a nickname. He's going to earn one eventually, but... Here on the uh, Westlake side. Right, let's get a pass right here and keep you know keep the momentum. Got Newton Hashman Burkle, uh, Genevieve Perry, and off the serve here, I believe it's Brock and set here by Eklund here the right side. Here comes Kristen Claymeyer tipped off the block. 
on fire right now is the double K as we're tied up at 10. That's four four kills in a row, I think, by Kristen. I like when we put her on the right side for one, one serve receive rotation. She can hit from either side of the pin. Um, she's playing at a high level right now. 10 to 10, and Clay Meyer here on the serve and floats it here near side to pass by Hasman across the floor. Passed again. Hit from the right back side. It was covered here by Cohen. Set by up from behind. Here comes Maddie with a drop nice, and it drops Maddie. it perfectly down. No problem, says Maddie the machine, and keeps churning out kills here for the Cavaliers. She, she does that so well. She has such a big arm. She's got the defense on their heels, and she's got that nice little tip shot. Uh, you know, great point by Maddie. And 11 to 10, Cavaliers rolling. Here's a serve receive. Received here by Ellie Turner. Hit on the left side. Cut, ooh, and near. Claymeyer trying to tomahawk a great strike by Hashman on the left side. Tied up at 11. Point by point we go. Good swing by, you know, another beach player. And you know what you see from her, you see that two-foot approach, as you know. But she gets up her and has just a quick whip with her hand. And it's really, you know, it's hard to defend. Sam, we've got an uh, overlap ball. You don't see that too often on Lake Traps. Side. A point for That's Westlake. Big. That's a big point and a big unforced error for us. We've got to mitigate that. Here we have 12 As to 11. Go ahead. It's serve for Seabot Cohen. Low pass. Champs hustling to get to that spot. Maddie hits it on the third. Set here to the middle. Here to Roy Williams. Tipped by Brooklyn. Saved by Cohen. Everybody trying to get it, and that goes to the up ref. Yeah, and nice little play by Westlake there. They ran a little A, a little one and a half back set. Uh, the middle came in. You know, we leaned a little bit that way. And, um, you know, they're, you know, they took advantage, as you said, as an unforced error. You give them a little bit of breathing room. Next thing you know, they're in system running a play, and we're on our heels. So, you know, big time out here. Like yeah, we've had, we've had a couple of unforced passing errors that we, yeah. we, we didn't see in the first set. So, uh, Lake Travis has to settle down. We've got to know that. We've got more offensive options and more offensive weapons than they have defensive weapons. And we got to stay with our ball control game, Mike. Mike Emma, Mike B. Secker, Bobby Jones, the dream team. It's where we're learning how to do this together. I think we're doing fantastic. Uh, this is this is so much fun here at the early start. And great insight by both of you guys. I'm the weakest knowledge of volleyball out of you three. And I'm, I'm happy for that because... I want to. I don't want to be around people who I know more than. Since, uh, <laughs> well, let's get a pass right here, Mike. What do you say? Right. Again, sponsors of our broadcast: Keller Williams Realty and Capital Title. Thirteen to eleven, Cavaliers down. Two serve receive here by Cohen. Set by Eklund. Here comes Maddie. Maddie cuts it a little too strong. I mean, we've seen her really convert on a few of those. So you'll take your chances with the machine here on the right side. Point for the Chaps. Fourteen to eleven. Let's see how Cab Nation responds. All right, someone needs to make a play. We need to make a play right Ash now. And sends it at Cohen, set by Eklund. Hit to the left side, here comes Champs, tries to side on it, recovered back by Rudick, set by Eklund to the right side. Maddie throws it over, that does not clear the net. Maddie giving a little extra up on that ball as that dropped down, and Maddie will get a rest, and we'll get Keeley the killer, the Hamilton show here for the Cavaliers. And she was phenomenal on her birthday in the last matchup. We'll see if we can recreate that magic. Here for Hamilton, serve receive out Wheeler. Eklund hustling for it. Wheeler trying to keep it up, and I might get another time out here, Bobby. So that's about four unforced errors that we've had. Um, you know, it started with some passing errors. It started to leak into a little bit of our hitting now. Uh, we need a pass and someone to make a play right now. 16 to 11, Cavaliers down five. Good pass for Cohen. Eklund puts it up in the air, tipped by Brudick, and Perry there to, to deny that pass with the ball. Cavaliers. Gonna take a timeout, 17 to 11. Yeah. Guys, what I'm seeing from the Lake Travis squad right now, just a good old fashioned case of the, we won the first set, let's come out, let's be calm, let's be casual, instead of staying bloodthirsty. We've gotta stay on top of the game in terms of getting our butt down, making that extra step, locking out the platform. Everything is about attention to detail, and we're just not doing it right this second. And that, that tends to happen. It seems for volleyball for some reason. Like that, that seems to be a thing that occurs from set one to set two from a lot of programs. And the rub is trying to leverage yourself to be able to, to get yourself focused. I don't think it's anything about fatigue. It's just getting back into that rhythm where, where somebody makes a play, everybody's energy comes up, your confidence comes up, and we'll see if maybe we can get a big rip by the Slayer to get us going. Yeah, well, I tell you what, we. Bobby, you're right, and Mike, you're right as well. Um, we're on their home court. We can't afford to have these kind of mental errors right now. 17 to 11, great point, Bobby and Mike. Set here by Eklund, here to the left side. Here comes the wheeler in the sky, tipped off the block. Received by Hashman, set here to the left side, across the net. Tipped, covered by Cohen. 
Set here by Eklund, hit by Sasha. Bunched up in the middle. The Chaps recover, but here's a freebie. Back in transition, Eklund with a set. Hit to the left side, Chams gets it off two blocks. Hits the up back, passed around. Hit on the left side by Fredrickson, covered by Claymeyer. Set by Eklund, Sasha with yeah. a kill! Great point, great point. You know, Westlake is playing with some confidence. They, they, they dug three or four balls there that they weren't digging earlier in this match, but a nice transition ball to the middle. Um, and Sasha put it away, uh, and uh, here we go. Listen, Kelsey's back to serve right now, but guys, the point, the, the, the point. And they are out there by Cohen, 18 a, to 12. That's a service error, number two or number three for this set, number two. So listen, uh, when, when you talk about um, staying focused, you, talked, you mentioned the word fatigue a second ago. It's not necessarily fatigue that we're seeing, but it is extremely rare when the entire team is revving on all, is firing on all cylinders, and that mental focus is just one. Oh, ah. by Genevieve Perry, the uh, big six-foot sophomore middle, launching one right into the middle of the floor. We're going to have Ginger Baldwin come in, give uh, Clay Meyer a breather. We'll have Keely Hamilton, Kelsey Cohen, James Wheeler, Cassidy Erie. And McKenna Eklund on the floor for the Cavaliers, down 19-12. Something's got to step up here for the Cavs. 19-12, Perry, Perry on the left side of the net, very deep and along the line, down the sideline and into the net. All right, we'll take it. Let's use it. Let's use it. So, you know, Ginger Baldwin, a little good luck charm there. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's very intimidating. You see on the other side, the yeah. cause teams to make very, errors. Very intimidating young lady right there uh, to make them miss the serve. 19 to 13, here comes Abby, Gigawatt sends it down the line, set for the front, jump set, so here to hit off the block between Watts and Baldwin in the mid, 20 to 13, Cavs down seven, but yeah, this is gonna be a battle all night. It is, I think we wanna, you know, we need to set a goal right now to, 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 to shrink this lead. Um, we wanna win this set, but minimally we wanna get momentum carrying into the third set if we, if we can. Agreed. Here comes the serve here by Fredrickson. Sends it here at Champs. Set here by Abby Watts. Good set here to Champs. Champs tips it over. Covered up. They're trampling as Westlake. Hits the third one. High hit over here. Watts puts it up in the air. Cohen sends it here to the right side. Eklund off the block. Saved by Newton. Hit back by Zervik. Ball thrown with the first touch. Watts with the set. Here to the left side of the wheeler in the sky. And we'll keep pumping up the Champs. She keeps playing like this. Good Incredible point. play by Champs Wheeler. You really can't block her when you get that ball high and a great elevation finish. So here we go. Teller Rio has been one of our better servers when she comes in. She's let, she's had a spark at times. Let's see if she can do it right here. Could be a momentum shift for the Cavaliers. Yep, she sparked a three-point run and set one uh, Rio 17-16 that we... Uh, and on the right side, it hit at Rio. Cohen hustling for it. it. Gets the second touch. Here's Should the third by it. Rio. Received short by Ashman. Set by Frederick. Surfing. Paintbrush covered by Eklund on the tip. Hit on the left side. Kristen Claymeyer back of the ball game. Tipped off the block from the left side. Set for the middle. Hit on the right side. Throws it over to here on the right side. Watts with a set. Here on the left, right side, it's Eklund. Tipping it over. Set here the other side again. Brockman with a swing. And gets it in the seam between yeah, Watts too, and great swing there. On the other too many side tips. The too many tips for my for my liking. I, I, you know, um, we got we got to put some swings on those those balls. We, we, we That point was ours to have. And uh, uh, I'd like to see us put a little bit more swings on them. Absolutely. From a technical standpoint, Mike B., You've got to close the feet to the ball. That's the step close that gets the athlete under the ball so that their shoulder is actually in the proper position so they can annihilate a ball. Clay Meyer and getting get a point on the left side. It was tipped. Great swing there by Kristen Clay Meyer. Is that a very good set too? 21-15. We've got Castieri coming in with Sasha. We've got uh, Claire Havens in the ball game. If well, anybody, we got some size up if front. If anybody can get this Cavs offense going, it's Cassidy Eary. 21-15, float serves here on the left back. Serve. Scrambling, Newton's going to pass this one here to Hashman. Front of the uh, attack it. line, receive Claymeyer first. Watch Use second, it. Sasha Use hits it to the left back corner. Kill for Sasha the Slayer. 21, uh, what is it, 16 or 17 now? Six. Go one at a time. You know, we can we can keep coming back. We were down seven, now, you know, we're, we're creeping back in. We're down well, five. I think queuing on Hashman on the float serve is going to be key. Let's see if we can do it again. Erie here on the line drive, sir. Send it to Hashman. Good pass here to the left side. They'll go back to Hashman. Blocked! But blocked out of bounds. Havens there on the right side. Sasha also there. And uh, 22 16. 
As on the left side, we'll have Margaret Newton. Again, the 5'3 sophomore playing really good, picking the ball up. And she'll take a swing out over here on the baby jump serve. Received by Rio Watts with the set. Here comes Kristen over two blocks. Pulls it off the block and a kill for the Cavaliers. 22-17. I love seeing this Cavs, this Cavs offense aggressive, Mike. One of the things that I love most is that we are sort of undersized on our, on our wings. But if we can get the ball control that we're getting from Cohen and Taylor Rio right now, we are going to be incredibly hard to stop. And a drop here by Perry back here on the LT side off the service seat. Rio Rio with the, the real shot to the back row. Hit on the right side. Sends it diagonal. Received by Eklund. Everybody hustles the ball. Cohen saves it. Ek uh, Claymeyer jump hits this one here on the third. Set here to the left side. High pace volleyball. Blocked and blocked out of bounds. Maddie and Sasha there. But, uh, you know, a great attack there. Wow, that was a swift play to the net there, I think, by Katie Ashman. Yeah, Katie's been tooling the block here. That's two in a row. You know, we got to turn that in. You know, we're, we're up there. We just got to turn that, that block in. Wesley's playing some pretty good ball this set. 23-17, Cavaliers down six. Service team Cohen gets underneath that one. Good pass here to Eklund. Here comes Maddie. Maddie down the line. Right. Maddie down the line for a kill. 23-18, Cavaliers still alive here in set two. Mike B, you, you called it. We may not be able to pull this set out, but we've dang sure got to be able to yep. decrease that lead and go into the third set with lots of momentum. If I'm being honest with you, we're still winning this game minus the five-point skid we had around 13 to 16. Burkle with a drop received here by Cohen here left side. Quick sec from Sasha. Sends it to the corner. That's blocked and blocked back to the Cavalier side Sasha. and out of bounds. Point for the Cavalier. Great touch there by Sasha. Yep, smart play, smart play. She's been she's been attacking the ball. She saw a spot open on the right side. Let's keep, you know, cutting into this lead. 23-19, Clay Meyer starts to show. Oh, it's available to clear net. That being, that's the right idea. That's the right idea, but uh, it'll be all right. 24-19. Hey, no like you said, Mike. Let's get one more side out here. Let's get yep. one more side out. Let's, let's, you know, let's not just roll over here. Let's see if we can get it close and... But yeah, those 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 unforced errors at key moments can be really critical. Um, but let's get a side out right here and, and and get a little bit of momentum heading into the third set. 24-19 potential set point and set two here for uh, Hashman sends it here at Kelsey Cohen set here by Eklund head on the left side jams block back and that'll be point 25 for Wesley. 25-19, 25-19. Uh, set one and two. If we're tied up at one and we're going into set three and it's time for everybody's favorite segment of our broadcast, our Cavs in college section. We need to get music for this, I think. So, uh, well, let's take a look at, at the three Cavaliers uh, playing NCAA volleyball. Uh, we've got Carol, or excuse me, Audrey Scrafford, a uh, sister Caroline, uh, for the number eight University of Chicago. They're playing in the UAA round robin round two this weekend in Pittsburgh on Saturday. Uh, they're playing the teams like Carnegie Mellon. Uh, they're playing another team. I think it's like Emory. It's like 15th overall in the polls. And, uh, you know, hey, Audrey hitting 2.94 kills per set, a 2.75 hitting percentage, and uh, their team winning. So, I mean, we're all about winning. We love to hear that any Cavaliers are out there winning. So, uh, then I'm we'll going to go to Leah Mulkey. She's playing right now against Missouri. Uh, they get averaging 2.23 kills per set, getting a lot of swings, a 1.83 hitting, a little bit higher early on. But as you're going through some of that SEC competition. It's a tough I mean, conference. Yeah, I mean, it's it not easy. So, now any, any Cavalier, you can go on SEC Network Plus and ESPN Plus if you're a uh, user cable or satellite subscription. And uh, we'll check in on that score here in a little bit. Skyler Besh, 7-10 uh, and 10 overall with Northwest Western State. They're 3-4 and four in the Southland. Uh, she had 34 assists and 8 kills versus McNeese. Uh, Demon sweep McNeese three nothing and a nice win for them. They're going to play Lamar uh, tomorrow in Southland Conference play. So let's see the Cav and we're going to have more Cavs in college down the line. I'm excited to see the future of this program as far as you know what kids decide to, to move on to the next level, whether it be indoor, whether it be in beach. Uh, the exciting times ahead for I think for both these programs that you got. Yeah. I mean, over the years the talent just continues to grow and grow and grow, and I. We're seeing some great volleyball now. You kind of wonder what it's like in five years when you still see these kids develop. Right? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, um, you know, on our side, obviously we have Sasha, who, who's committed to play at Providence. Um, we have Kristen Claymeyer committed to play at Houston Baptist on the beach side. Uh, on their side, uh, the ones that I'm aware of are Jada Burkle is going is committed to Memphis. 
Um, and then uh, Ellie Turner, as I mentioned, is now playing DS, is committed to Oregon State, and uh, uh, Katie Hastrin uh, to UCLA on the beach side. So, um, yeah, I think every time we, we get together as a group for this match, you're going to see kids that are that are committed and going to be playing at the next level. That's the type of programs that, that bo you know both these programs have. Absolutely, and, and while we're here at the end of the second set, <clears throat> it's a great time to kind of touch base on that story, Mike, that we were talking about earlier, sort of the, the propensity or, or sort of the, the, that um, – the, the unusually high percentage of beach players that are that are on the court, not only on the court, but excelling for both sides. Uh, on the Lake Travis side, Cassidy Erie, Kelsey Cohen, Kristen Claymeyer uh, on the starting six. Uh, on the Westlake side, you mentioned Hashman, um, UCLA commit. So you're starting to see... Kelly Turner, uh, their, their DS plays a little bit of beach as well. Yeah, as well. And you see it really across the district, you know. Yeah. Um, Godwin. Godwin is a player at Bowie. The DS is going to play at Florida State. Uh, Maddie Chris, we talked about her at later. Westwood. Uh -huh. uh, Westwood. I mean, gotcha. I, I think that is only elevating their indoor games from a number of different perspectives. And I would encourage any young kid out there that's looking to to, to improve their game is, is you know, find uh, find Project Surf, find Bobby Jones, and, you know, get yourself out in the beach during the off season. Yeah, if we're in the Lake Travis area, um, Coach Brandis Bourne was uh, was just an absolute angel and an amazing uh, proponent for the beach courts that just got completed at the Lake Travis High School. Two championship level beach volleyball courts. They are done. They are completed. Uh, programming will begin out there in November. Uh, definitely um, contact Lake Travis Volleyball for more information on that. But just watching watching these players uh, unite over the summer in the sand it's amazing and their camaraderie has just gone through the roof I, I love watching these kids grow and succeed well here we are back <coughs> in play one nothing lead here for Westlake after a service error Eklund sets it here to the left side Maddie Maddie with authority and you can see as soon as she flew through the air that scowl on that kid's face Man, that that kid is bringing it here. We we love Maddie. He's the playing machine. with great confidence right now. You know, I, uh, we started with another unforced error, but but she came right back and put the ball uh, through. You know, she tried to put that through the floor. Love this team. Received here right back here by Westlake. Pass joust at the net. They're going to say uh, Maddie touched the oh. reach over. Uh, I don't know. You guys know the rules better than I do. What do you think? Well, they're calling. You, know, you have to let that second ball go out to the yeah. hitter, and, and they're calling an attack. I, I don't know if that was the appropriate call. Um, you know, I, I thought their setter might have been in the net. Yeah, that's what I thought. I said, that ball double. came on our side. Hey, yeah. I, I like where Lake Travis's eyes are right now. Yep. They've got that cold-blooded killer look in their eyes. I, I look to see some big swings and some big plays here from Lake Travis. Eklund sets it here left side. Here comes Jams off balance. Diagonal shot recovered here left back by Perry. Hit the Burkle right side. Gets it through the block of Bounty and Jams on the right side. And a point here for the Westlake Chaps. Three to one. Our feet are still a little slow at the net, guys. We're, we're not really closing down the block. We're, we're we're guessing and we're getting in a lot of isolation blocks on the on the pins, and we're just not closing the deal. We've got to be a bigger force at the net. Three to one, Cavaliers and serve receive. Cohen spins it here to Eklund. Here in front of the attack line, there comes Champ. Block back, covered up first by Maddie. Eklund with a step behind. Here comes Erie with their feet wow. underneath her. Cuts it diagonal from the right side. Now hit to the left side and off balance in the air. Nice play by Cassidy. Nice play. He went to her on the right side. She put some pressure on the defense. Uh, created, a, created an error on their side. A lot of props to Cassidy Erie right there for uh, getting her feet to the ball and approaching that ball like an outside hitter. Three to two. Cavaliers down one. Erie launches the serve now here on the left side by Brockman. Hit by Zervik and gets between the seam between the left back and the mid. Good attack there by Lexi Zervik. Yeah, I would say our blocking is not quite there. We're a little slow on the defense. You know, we're having little gaps in our blocks. That that should have been a play we were ready for. Um, Westlake's taking advantage right now. Up 4-2. Four. four. No, go ahead, Bob. Well, actually, okay, we're going to go here. Fredrickson here on the surf from the right side, the left-hander. Jump spurns received here by Claymeyer. Good pass here to Eklund. Maddie on the slide. Gets it through the block. Point for the Cavaliers. Two blockers there, both Brockman. And Zervik cannot t contain Maddie the Machine. Maddie's playing at a high level. She's carrying this team right now. I mean, she's got the most energy. Um, you know, I, I really like the way she's playing on the right side. She and, and she's hitting a little bit from the outside. So Abby's in. You know, we score a lot during these rotations when she's in. Let's see if we can get a, get a lead here. And let's see if the bank teller can cash in here on payday. Abby Watts lines it down the line. Set here to the right side. Block! 
And as they say in Montreal, for Sasha the Slayer is, Bienvenue Verde à Blanquer la Ville. Welcome to Block City. <laughs> Shout out to any of our neighbors to the north listening. And if I butchered my French there, you know, so be it. Welcome to Block City, Sasha. Four to four received here Great by Watts. Great serve, cross set, court. Set here to the left side, hit on the left side. Line oh. shot, is that out? That's a point for the Cavaliers. Point for the Cavaliers, that was Casey Campbell here on the left side. Point for the Cavaliers, yeah, five for, to four. We, we forced her line, right? We're taking away the cross court there with the, you know, setting that block inside. That's a tough angled shot. Watts sends it to Newton, good pass. Set up here by Fredrickson, hit by Campbell. And a great hit from the left side. Yeah, catches the seam. Again, we're seeing teams tend to go away from the blockers that way that you're either going to try to drop it, generally, generally tend to go line, and I don't know what the solution is. You guys probably understand this a little bit more than I do. Well, it? well get in position, I guess. James receives the serve 5-5. Five to five. Watts sends it up in the air. Here comes Claymire with a big rip in the roll shot, recovered by Newton. Set here to the left side, hit, drop over, received here by Watts let's in the go, first. Cole with the pass here to the right go, side. Here comes Eklund, blocked back out of bounds. Point for the Cavaliers. Good swing by Eklund. Eklund. Eklund is really taking advantage of the swing she gets. But back to your point, Mike, you know, um, there it looks like to me Wessex trying to run a little bit faster to the outside. They're running about a three ball instead of a four. Um, that's something we're going to need to be aware of. we got to be quicker to the block. Taylor Diamond Rio in the ball game here for the Cavaliers. Six slight serve received here. On the pass across the right side, drops it over, received by Cohen. Watts with a set. Here to the outside, Claymire with the wind up and the drop shot. She... Bobby, talk about her mechanics on that because she has her shoulder turned. She gets her arm underneath the ball with a pop-up hammer well, and just drops it perfectly. Listen, when you have quick athletes like that, when they can get their feet close to the ball quickly and ag aggress the approach every time looking the exact same. Ooh, happy birthday back to Sasha. We'll get right back to you, Bobby. Watts set. Here comes Sasha. Block back. Uh, Ooh, right back into the campfire. Great denial there by Zurovic. Yeah, we've got to we've got to spread the ball to the pins anytime we have the opportunity to run a ball in system. Anyway, going back to Kristen Claymar, when she can close her feet to the ball that quick, she's quick like a cat. Okay, it sucks everybody in on the net and on the back row uh, on defense. It gets people dug in. That's why that shot was uncontested because she approached the ball so aggressively. Seven to six, great analysis and an uh, error on Newton as it goes right to the net. Eight to six. Cavaliers getting a break here on the air. Get the side out. We'll get so Kelsey. Take I hop Cohen, the assassin. Yeah, Mark Kelsey that down. Unforced error. Let's see if, we can take, see. see if we can take a few points here. Here we go. Cohen launches this one. Deep court. Received here by Ellie Turner. Hit to the right side. Through the block. You know, Erie and Claymire there on the left side. Good hit. That's there by Kate. Campbell, I believe. Yeah, we've been calling Campbell's name a little bit. So, uh, you, you know, if you don't know that family, Holly Campbell is her older sister. I was just all American. She was, she was pretty good at volleyball. Yeah, a little she, bit. She was she, pretty she's, uh, she's doing some good things at Stanford. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, a volleyball program is that like a that's a school? <laughs> is it? Is that yeah. uh, okay? Here's Claymire with a cut with two hands. Ah. Wow! Wow! W O W! Oh, they're gonna say that's Chris was in the net. Yeah, Chris was in the net. Uh, but that oh, Campbell yeah. family. You know, they, they have a younger sister as well who's coming up through the program. we got to watch out for Kylie. But uh, nice try by Kristen there. Tough set. Time. Eight up. Eight. Oh, ah. a pass in an error on the serve receive point here for the Chaps. Nine to eight. Nothing to worry about. Cavaliers just try to get a side out again, and we'll see uh, what's in store here in the next point. Yeah, a couple of unforced errors by us. we we got to get mentally focused here. We really do. Nine to eight. Spinning serve here for that Claymire down the line. Here the pass behind. Eklund. Eklund with the liner down the line. McKenna with a point for the Cavaliers, tied up at nine, and the answer. Listen, guys, on the serve receive side of things, we have got to take care of the ball. Kristen Claymeyer is a senior leader on this team. She's playing fantastic, but we, we can't have passing errors, as, as, especially when we are undersized at the net blocking. Received here on Westlake after the serve by Eklund. Slide to Burkle in between Eklund and Rio. Yeah, she went right over, right over the top of the block. I, I think you're right, Bobby. So. We've been talking a lot about the players, and I said this in the Tuesday match. I think somebody's going to have to come in off the bench and make some plays at some point. I think, that, you know, to, to light a spark, and, and we'll see if Coach Bourne goes there here in the next couple of times. Ten to nine. Received here by Cohen. Set here by Eklund. Here to the left side. Maddie with a big swing. Yeah. Wow. I have not seen Maddie play with this kind of confidence. I mean, she's been. this has been building for her. It has Last been. five or six, six match, you know, matches. She's a middle balker. Right, that is transitioned to the right, right side, and she is, she is really playing with confidence. And Let's go, Kristen. the left side there too. Yeah, uh, I agree. 
Hit by Clay Meyer on the short serve. Newton diving, laying out for this quick set. Burkle slaps it over. Cohen here on the go, second go, 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 touch. Go, go, go. Here comes Jams. Jams, Jams blocked back. Nice. Saved by Cohen. Eklund here to the other side from Maddie. Maddie is blocked back. That did not clear Whoa. the top of the tape. Point for the Chaps, 11 to 10. Well, we yeah, got a we battle get, going on here. We can't get rushed in that, in that uh, quippy back and forth transition offense. We can't rush our, our hitters, especially here in the third match, third set. We're getting a little bit tired under our legs. We've got to take care of that ball and set just a little bit higher and more aggressive. Eklund set, quick hit by Maddie. Pounds it over, recovered back by Erie. Here's the other ah. Wheeler. Wheeler drop shot down the line, covered by the up back. Set here by Burkle. Burkle with a liner. Good bend there by Eklund to try to get that. And he said, Jada, yeah, got contained a little bit in the first match, coming alive in this one. She Point. is, she is. Westlake's coming alive. We're, you know, I, I think we're making some, some. Um, we gotta, we gotta look at what we're doing decision-wise from, from the setters. I agree. I, I, we're not really hitting the right person at the right time right now. We're forcing some things. Um, you know, we need to get we need to get back in system, make make some good decisions on on where we're going to locate that ball. Uh, to our hitters. You're exactly right, Mike. And, and what we really need to do is be intelligent at the setter position to see where our best matchups are on the court. Okay, uh, we saw in the first or the second set, Kristen Claymeyer coming running a backside uh, at the 21 tempo, 31 tempo. If you have great mobile hitters, again, I go back to setter needing to make that decision, but also laying them up in the air, pulling them off using some different setting locations so that we can find the right isolations and find the right gaps. Well, out of the timeout, Cavaliers will be in serve receive, and you know, like we, you know, Chuck talked about it, our guy Chuck Licata. We'll see what happens here. Maybe Cavaliers can induce, uh, maybe they, they ice the, the server here, Genevieve Perry, serving right. from just outside of Travis County now. Now we're coming back into floor of the play here. Line drives it here at Claymire. Set here by Eklund, here to the left side. Here comes the Wheeler. The sky blocked back to Cohen. Blocking, proving here for Westlake. Drop shot for the back row by Claymire. Spins it here, big hit. Received by go, Cohen. Go, 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 Cavaliers go, go. trying to hustle. Good hustle there by Claymire. Point here for the Chaps. We've got to find that one play in the game that's going to turn the energy around, and yep. we'll yeah, see who brings it. This is a critical part of the match, critical part of this set here. We, we, we don't want it just, uh, this set to get away from us. The last one you know, got to a point where it was hard for us to come back. We need to side out right here. 13-10, to 10, Perry going to be on the serve, dribbling once, twice, three, four, five times. Jump serve received by Cohen. Good pass here to Eklund from the attack line. Hit to the left side by the Wheeler, and hits it. Uh, by Hashman, right side to Burkle, tip up block, saved by Cohen once again, bumped up by Maddie, here comes Wheeler, Wheeler cuts it, received diagonal by Perry, passed across the net, hit by Burkle, covered up by Eklund, Cohen with a pass here to the right side, Erie down the line, nice. received by Perry, Burkle with a second touch, hit by the third by Brockman, cuts it, Cohen hits it over, it's going to be a joust in the net, covered by Maddie, Jams keeps it up in the air. Cohen calls forward and hits it on the freebie on the third. We've got a great volley, touch in the net, front of the net, not a net violation. Here comes Eklund, here comes Maddie. Maddie tosses, oh! that's a point. Shot. Point for the Cavs. No, 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 no. No, she's calling it in. We, that's going to be a point for Westlake. We thought this was going to be one for Lake Travis. Is it on the line? That still counts as a point? Yeah, it looked like it was on the line to me. Just all I have to do is touch a little bit of that line. That's a big point. I've seen a little fatigue on our side, I think. Yeah, I, I feel absolutely. like we're not jumping like we were before. Absolutely. And a service error by good Perry, eye, 14 eye, to 11. Fall don't lie, as we like to say in basketball. <laughs> Fall don't lie. Good we didn't get that Listen, point, guys, but we're getting that one right back. Listen, guys, we're, we're three sets into the toughest match of the year. We've been going solid for 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks. Two days to start off with. These kids are definitely getting tired. You know, it's got to be hydration, nutrition. Those things have to be key when these kids are not on the court. Again, you got to find that little extra something in you as a competitor. And Baldwin sends it here left side, set from the middle. It is a battle. Brockman places it through. Baldwin the pass. Here comes Maddie. Maddie is going to be blocked by Alexi Zorvik. I mean, we've really seen good blocking because I think, A, they're anticipating where the ball's going pretty well. See if Lake Travis can mix things up a little bit. Got to find a way to get it past. Yeah, we're getting a little, a little predictable on our offense. You know, um, you know, we're starting, you know, we're setting a lot of high balls, which is fine, but uh, we, we need to mix it up a little bit here. See how this game goes. 15 to 11. 
Dodge, so one set to one, Claymeyer, quick pass to Eklund. Here comes Wheeler. Wheeler gets it through there the block, go. and there you go. Blocker's a little slow to get there on the right side of the net. Wheeler with the attack and a great swing, and that's what you say, get that ball out quick. Those blockers can't beat you. All right, here we go. Ball. Here's that mid-game. Abby Watts rotation. Let's see if we can spark something right here for the Cavs. All right, Watts, Claymeyer, Cohen, McKenna, Eklund, Wheeler, and Rudick. Here's the line drive through sent in the gaps. Hit on the left side here on the touch received by Cohen. Spinner, wow. oh, that's the tough one there for Kelsey. It's all right. 16 to 12, Cavaliers down four. Still here in set three. One set to one. And yeah, that was a good serve by Abby, and they were out of system. But you know what? A better swing by uh, Casey Campbell. Sure was. She takes a uh, out of system ball real well, slows the approach down, and reaches high, and has a hell of a whip. Set. Here comes a big whip block Ooh. back. Blocked back by Cervic, 17 to 12. Come on. Cavaliers gather at center court. We've got another timeout. You know, home floor is big in this area too. Like, I mean, we saw how well Cavaliers were able to use their floor's energy. And right now, I mean, Westlake's playing with great energy and confidence. And yeah, they, they're blocking well, right? So now, I, you know, like I said, I think we're getting a little predictable. Um, I think she needs to, you know, we mix, mix up some plays. We need to move some players around a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a lot of our Maddie Williams right side swings down the line like the big powerful ones we've seen in the past. I'm not seeing um, haven't seen Keely Hamilton in the game yet. Yeah. Uh, or not as much as we'd like to. Uh, maybe give a give a hitter a rest. Yeah. And give some size in there. What do you think, Mike J? Well, I mean, I, I yeah, you know, Keely was really just blazing through a lot of these games, and it's just kind of struggling with a little bit. Uh, I mean, we, we could see Carson. The one thing we haven't seen is the pass behind. Kelsey is phenomenal at taking that platform pass, passing it behind her. But I think everything that we, we, we've passed has been pretty straightforward. And we're seeing maybe if we're setting them up for later on in the set. I don't know. Champs gets it to the block, covered down the line. Here by Ellie Turner. Hit by Hashman. Drop shot, covered up first by Watts. Come now on. it's 17 to 12. There's a pass behind. Champs gets a cut, covered up by, by uh, Hashman and Turner. Hit block back, Rudick straight up in the air on the downfall. Hit on the left side here by Wheeler. Wheeler floats it to Newton, low pass. Hit by Fredrickson, hit back, block back by uh, Rudick. Oh, paint brush. No, Cohen saying that she pancaked that one again. Well, yeah. and, and yeah, I like to see I like to see our setter come in and take that ball. But I here agree. we go, here we go. She's gonna make a move there. I think I think defensively. Um, gonna get you know, Carson I, the ball game. I'd like to yep. see her get that ball, but yep. I, I, I agree. I'd like to see some different hitters in here right now in the middle part of this match. I'm seeing a little bit of heavy Petite, legs. Heavy legs. Let's see yeah. if your Heppel sets it here left side. Eklund with a hit. Oh, there, you go. You. there you go. Kept point nice. for the Cavaliers. You know, I, I think nice Bo I think Bourne, <laughs> I think Coach wanted to play this out a little bit, see what they had, and then you know you don't want to pull kids too quick. Well, listen, you know you don't want to pull kids quick, but you also have to recognize fatigue. And you got a big ACL weekend last weekend. Not saying, I'm just saying. Homecoming. Receive Homecoming. It. There's a lot on these kids' plates to play mm. at the by top Cohen. of their game. Here by Hempel. Hit on the right side. Good drop shot oh. there by Eklund. Mm. How was that? Was that not touched by Wesley? That was close. That was close. That was a nice nice try there. Well, that was go a very good set. Tape after the match here. But boy, Wesley's starting to extend this lead, guys. We need, we need a spark. We need something. This is uh, danger time here for the set. Apple with the set. Here comes Claymeyer. Claymeyer with the answer. Tools it through the block on the left side. 19 to 14. Cavaliers down five. And that's the kind of sets we need where we're extending the, the, you know, their defense, making that middle go end to end, and uh, giving Kristen some room to work. So well, let's, and, we need to get on a run here. Exactly. And you know when those instances are is when we get the perfect set that's landing on the setter's head, and she's not having to move. Cohen floats it over the net here on the serve. Hit recovered here on the. Back here to the LT side, Heppel with a set. Claymire with the strike, a little over the block, too far, 20 to 14. The greatest moments, guys, come from the times that we're challenged and struggling. Right here. Can, can you make something happen for this chapter of the story here for the Cavaliers? We're here in the middle of set three. We're tied, one set apiece. How do these Cavaliers respond? Received here by Rio. Pass straight up in the air. Erie's going to bump it here, and we'll claim Meyer will here on the third. Newt with a pass. Set from the middle. Hit on the left side. Tipped off the block. Hempel passes back into play. Cohen going to pass this one here to Eklund. Eklund with a diagonal. Line drive block back once, twice, and three times. It's to the outside of the antenna. It's to the outside of the antenna. Erie slaps it deep. I thought that didn't get in. Comes Burkle on the drop. That's Good out of bounds. Point for the Cavaliers. 
Whoever was that on the third touch there, I swear to the Lord above that that ball did not, maybe the ball, I guess the up ref's got a way closer view of it than I do. Well, that's a good point. Let's see if we can take that momentum and, and uh, get back into this set. We're down five, 2015. Here we go. McKenna Eklund on the serve, down 20 to 15. As Cavalier Nation awaits. Lines of line drive middle. Set here from the middle by Rory Williams. Burkle on the slide. Recovered by nice Rio kick. on the first touch. Cohen calls for it. Here comes Claymire with a runner. Two-handed. Jumbo back to the left back side. Serve off bounce hit. And a pancake leak. It's a kill for the Westlake Chops. 21 to 15. Yeah, and I you know what? I'd like to see some people hitting the ground on that a little bit more. Um, Again, that's our setter's ball. She's got to come in, in there to, to, to pick up that, uh, that short tip. 21-15, Cavaliers and serve receive and we'll have Hashman sending it. Received here, Clay Meyer near side of the fourth set. Here to the outside, here comes Maddie. Maddie big swing covered up by Cohen. Here to the right side, Clay Meyer again. Drop shot, punched up in the air by wow. Newt with one arm. Hit on the left side, Brockman sent it way too strong and out and a point for the Cavaliers on the attack error, 21-16. All right. Okay, guys, score, score is 21-16. The Cavs are doing two things not well. We are not bringing a cohesive energy on the floor, coming back in, big cheers, celebrating the wins, and we're not controlling the ball off the pass right now. Hit from the middle, hard hit, hit received by Cohen in front of the net, they're jousting at it. That's gotta be a reach over if that's not, wasn't on our end. I don't get that at all. I really but, don't. Well, I, I think we need to see a little, here comes Keeley. You know, I, I, I like it, but I feel like this might be a little late, right? 22-16, um, um, I felt like this is, you know, just, just to give a little bit of break. And you know what, sometimes, I'll, I'll let the serve go. We'll, we'll finish that comment in a second. No, but. I mean, any moment in time is perfect if you allow it to be. Received <laughs> here by Kristen Claymeyer. Set here by Eklund. Here comes Jams. Jams tips it off the block. Passed here by Hashman. Hit by Brockman on the left side on the third. Lobs is over. Received here by Cohen. Set by Eklund. Here comes Keeley. Keeley, that one gets tooled. Passed around. Perry with the third. Straight up near by Eklund. Cohen pass it here to Wheeler. Wheeler with a drop shot. Good coverage there on the back. Hit by Berkeley, and we got a double, double. hold. There you go. Point yeah, so, 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 so what I wanted to say is, you know, it's okay because, you know, sometimes people on the bench, they've been watching this game. They see things that the players on the court don't see. And you know what? The player gets off on the sideline for a couple of rotations. They start to see the game a little differently and get a little bit and, of a And breather. sometimes you stew a little bit when you're sitting there longer that once you get in there, you get the message clear. It's like you better come to play if you want to s stay on the floor. And, I think the message sent to Keeley. We'll see if she responds. Overpass Overpassed here on the serve receive. Baldwin passes behind. Here comes Jams. Over two blocks. Diane right recovered here, by Newton. Set here behind. Burke looking to try to underhand Let's slap this one. Right here. Eklund. Baldwin with the pass. Here comes Keeley the killer. That turns once, twice. And here comes the third by Brockman. Overhands it over. Received here by Real. Steph Baldwin, excuse me. Here's Jams again. Down the line. Once, twice. Oh, Newton passing it. again. Brockman tips. Touch by Olet Rudick. That's all right, man, 23-17. Yeah, that was a big point. I, you got to give Wesley credit there. They were digging everything, um, you know, and uh, that, that was a big uh, point, energy. big point. 23-17. Again, back to my point, guys. We don't want to get into a situation where our back is against the wall. Yep. You've got to know your players, and you got to know when you see fatigue on their faces. A quick two points out and back in could save a run, a six or seven point run later on down the line. And I think maybe that's what we're seeing here, but I do love the energy that's on the court for the Cavs right now. I think that we could spark enough of a comeback to get this fourth set cracking. 23-17, Fred, sent by Fredersen, Cohen pass it. Here to the left side, here comes Wheeler. Wheeler again to the left side. side, there we go. Jan's been contained a little bit. She is, but no, great, she is great. a craftsman. Jams Wheeler is a craftsman with her wrist and the ball shaping of her shots, man. She is a next level hitter, guys. I would love to see her on the sand, actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I wouldn't. I would not want to be on the other side of Jams Wheeler on anything. Set here by the other side. Hit on the road. Oh, boy. That was great hit by Campbell. 24 18. And boy, that was a tough play. C Casey Campbell just made a play on the ball. I'm sure she didn't think she was going to get a kill out of that. And again, I you know I think we're not penetrating on the block a lot as much as we were earlier in this match. We're we're you know we're a little off the net on some of those blocks. 24-18 line drives it here at Cohen set here by Hempel. Rudick taps it over. 
Covered in the first touch by Hashman, set here on the right side, blocked in a kill on the right side by Casey Campbell, 25-18. Westlake takes set three, 25-18. And well, this is gonna be this is gonna be the, the tough challenge here for Coach Moore and is what message you have for this team as we go to set four. And we'll see what kind of energy the, the, the Chaps have going into set four. Are they are they gonna be in kill mode or are they gonna step back a little bit? and Cavaliers find a chance to capitalize. Well, I think the story for the Westlake Chaparrales right now is Casey Campbell. She was extremely quiet when she came to Lake Travis's neighborhood uh, a month or so ago. Uh, I watched that kid, a, a kid with a bright volleyball future, just struggle to have hitting options, struggle to get those close balls and those close calls. Tonight, everything is going her way. Mike B, a second ago, you said she approached the ball literally almost uncontested and that is just not the late Travis that we've seen this season leaving that net unattended so to speak without one of our four six foot plus blockers controlling and patrolling that net yeah I think right now I mean Westlake is hitting on all cylinders they, they've uh, extended leads in both of those sets um, again I, I feel like we're not um, uh, blocking as well and closing that block as much as we have and penetrating the net um, And then our offense is just getting a little predictable. We're getting a kill here or there um, But we're not in some of those extended rallies. We're, we're, we're not getting you know the kills when we need them So, well, you know coach coach is going to figure it out. This is uh, do or die time here in the fourth set and um, We need to find a spark because right now all the momentum is on uh, Westlake side. Absolutely and hey listen lots of love to the Cavaliers for being able to have three different varsity level starting setters. I feel like we need to find a rhythm though. I feel like we're spreading the ball a little bit thin uh, and our passers, I'm sorry, our hitters are not really seeing the same set for several rotations in a row. Yeah, that's a good point. We, we've really been, you know, we kind of settled into, you know, to two main setters. And um, if you look at it, Abby, Abby has been the most consistent as far as leading the team in assists. Um, we've thrown McKenna in there as a wrinkle. Um, it certainly worked the first set. Uh, we'll see what she goes back to here in the in the fourth set. Um, but uh, you know, I, I I don't like the the body language right now. Some of the energy that I'm seeing. Westlake is already on the court, uh, high fiving. Um, you know, a uh, lot of jump in their step right now. That's it's their home court. Um, you know, this is uh, this is gut check time for 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 Lake Travis. Absolutely, Mike. I would love to see. So Lake, Tra I'm sorry, Westlake ahead two sets to one set now. Uh, two sets to one set, Lake Travis taking the first set. What I would love to see now is a little bit more consistent rotation of our flat, our, of our fresh hitters yeah. so that we can keep legs solid all, all the way through the set. And I would love to see one or two setters only really taking advantage of setting and spreading the ball around the court. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. We got to get off to a fast start this set. We talked about it in the first set, but it is critical here. Well, here we go, set four. Mike Biesecker, Bobby Jones, Mike Youngblood with you here at Westlake. Cavaliers gotta bump their energy up and get excited. Here we go, Cohen receives here, Eklund here to the left side, there comes Maddie. Maddie sends the diagonal to cover by Newton. Set here behind, hit to the right side by Brickle, big swing, covered up by Jams at the mid. Eklund here to pass it. Claymeyer there to cut it here on the left side. Hit on the right side by Brickle, block back. Block back, and that is out point for the Cavaliers. We got some energy back. We got some energy back on the cab side of the good court. Good start, good start. It's always good to win the first point, especially when you have a long rally. One to nothing, Cavaliers. Here, get the first point on the board, set four. Short nice serve, and an ace for Kristen Klemeyer. Great short serve, great short serve. That, that's the kind of things we need to be doing right now. If we can't, you know, if, we're, if our offense is slowing down a little bit, we got to find other ways to score points. Two to nothing, Cavaliers. Picking it up. Received deep middle of the floor. Set here. Oh, miss hit. And Pitt Perry got a perfect ball and a nice set there by Rory Williams. And a point here for the Chaps. Two to one. Cavs leading by one and back from receiver C and looking to side out. And it'll get Hashman on the serve at her feet. Sends a diagonal received here by Cohen. Hit to the left side. Champs tips it power deep. And there's a tip here by Newton. Burkle sends it deep, recovered by Eklund. It's gonna be Joss to the net. Burkle with a big hammer on the right side. Two to two. Yeah, two to two. You know, um, 
our setting is a little off right now. We're just not putting the ball exactly where the hitters need to hit, need to get it. Um, we're passing. I think we're passing okay right now. We need to get, you know, we just need to get our offense going. Hashman sends it here at Clay Meyer, set here by Eklund. Slayer blocked back, still alive here on the Cavalier side. Cohen sits on the third, Brooke with the first one. Set of the net, Perry underneath that one, recovered by Eklund. Cohen pass, and here comes Maddie. Maddie the machine, sends it diagonal. Newton from the middle of the floor, hit on the right side by Burkle. Covered up here Great by Eklund. Cohen sets here to the right side, here comes Maddie. Maddie down the line, recovered by Newton. Pass here again to the left side, Brockman. Powers it through the block, and a point here for the Chaps. Yeah. Just not pressing, just not pressing. We're getting our hands on those box, but just not pressing all the way across like we were earlier in this match. We gotta figure that out. We need a side out right here. Guys, you know, we're we're keeping pressure on Westlake. They are delivering. We're passing well. I feel like we're working the ball around the court well. Good swing. And it'll be Maddie on the right side with a point here for the Cavaliers. Absolutely. It's blocked back. And Matt, 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 Matt no, no kid in that. No quit in that Maddie kid. She's playing strong here for the Cavaliers. Tied up at three and set four. And we got to get our energy up. Cohen sends it here to Newton. Set here by Williams. Hit by Burkle. Line drives. Burkle's playing possessed right now. And a point here for the Chaps. Yeah, they're moving Burkle around really nicely. She's swinging from outside the middle, right side. I mean, that's a little bit what I like to see from us on our offense. But, um, yeah, she's swinging with confidence. Yeah, Jada was... A shell of her former self in the Lake Travis gym. Definitely coming on fire, coming on strong in her home gym. Uh, Jim sending it nice. up the tip block point for the Cavaliers, four to four. We're gonna stand up, we're getting points here, guys. Yeah, we're, 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 we're scraping and clawing to get there. That's what we have to do to stay in this set. Um, you know, they're swinging with a little more authority right now, but we gotta find ways to make, to make plays. All right, it's going to be Abby Watts here on the serve. Sends it here on the near side. Set here by Fredrickson. Burkle down the line and inside the line. A big swing kick going to University of Memphis. Point here for the Chaps. But Chaps sit down. Burkle. Like, come on, we got to get some energy yeah. going in this Absolutely. gym. Absolutely. Burkle swinging with another level of intensity right now. I have not seen this kid swing this well. And it's putting a lot of pressure on the Lake Travis defense right now to pick her up. Five to four, it's gonna be served here by Westlake. Line drives it here at Claymeyer. Erie sets it here to the left side. It comes Keeley. Keeley cuts it diagonal. Set here to the outside. Tan block and uh, there's a kill by Brockman. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're just way too predictable right now. That was a little bit of a bad pass, but you know, we're, we're just going high outside, high outside, and uh, they're chewing it up on their side, and, and transition hitting is, you know, they're, they're, they're putting the ball away. Got to get the grimace on your face, the fire in your heart. Caps down two it. and an error. We'll we take go. that one. We'll, we'll take, take it. that. Let's go. Got to capitalize here, gentlemen. There's, a, there's an opportunity here, unforced error. Let's take advantage. Taylor's been serving well. Six to five. Cavaliers down one. And we'll turn to the hands of Diamond Rio. Sends it deep court to Newton. Pass here in front of the net. Hit on the left side. Brockman blocked back and out of bounds. Hamilton and Erie right there. Seven to five. And point there for the Chaps in set four. And yeah, Westlake is siding out at an unbelievable level right now. Yeah. Almost every ball they're siding out. We're not going to be able to get any kind of rhythm going. Turner line drives this one here at Clay Milo Pass. Quick one set. Tut blocked back. Hit by Watts here to the outside. Clay Meyer. It's a swing and a cut. Hit on the middle of the floor. Here comes Hashman. Hashman, wow. Hit Westlake's playing confidently right now. Might want to get an early timeout here, Coach. Uh, I mean, um, we're, we're scraping to try to get points, and they're putting the ball on the floor right now. They're, they're swinging, you know, at a high level, high confidence right now. We need, we need something. We need a spark right now. And a serve received here by Cohen. Straight up in the air. Here he bumps it. Here comes Cohen now here on the third. And Blackback, Ham Clay Meyer with a hammer on the left side. Hashman out of the left side. Drop shot covered here by Watts. Pass behind. Clay Meyer through the block. Tools and a point nice. for the Cavaliers. That was critical. Big play by, by Kristen, our senior leader. Um, when we needed it most. We need, we really needed to stop that momentum. Eight to six. Caspieri gonna be on the serve here for the Cavaliers. Sent here on the near side, right side, nearly overpass, tipped, and that's going to be a point for the Cavaliers. All right, let's go. Come on, let's get excited. Eight to seven. 
I love you Cavs Nation, but I need a little bit more on that other side of the floor. We've got to get fired up. Eight to seven, set from the middle here. Hit on the right side. Block straight, tipped up in the air. Claim Iron Rudick there. Come on, nine to seven. Yeah, they're signing out. They're, they're running their offense well right now, and we, we don't have an answer. Um, we, we need to figure out a way to get a block. We haven't had a block in a long time. Newton here on the right side, covered up here by Claymeyer, set by Watts. Here comes Kristen. Kristen sends it deep. Newton with a great pass, playing great for the Chops. Head on the right side, and oh, that's inside the line. Hit on the right side by Casey Campbell. Yes. We got a point. Oh, we, we got, got a break. break. It's about we time. We got a foul break. That is right. That it's is about time. Call. That is a good call. Yeah, there's about five on the other end and three other sets. I don't want to see anybody's hands up here. Nine to eight. Let's go. All right. Let's take advantage of it. Let's take advantage of it. Nine to eight. Cavaliers now in serve. Here comes McKenna Eklund. Line drives it here, middle at the floor. Potential momentum shift. Here on the right side by Campbell. Tipped up, saved by Rio. Set here by Eklund. Here comes Claymeyer. Down the line, hit hard. Scrambling. That's yeah. a point for the Cavaliers. Yeah, That's cool. a point for the Cavaliers. Yes. Let's what go, McKenna. Keep it going. Keep it going. That was a nice shot by Kristen down the line. Forcing them in the net. Let's go. Nine to nine. We're standing here at our feet, and so should you. Eklund lines it. Here receives short by Turner, going down to Hashman, left side, through the block, point for the Westlake Chaps. Next point. Side out, side out, they're running their side out offense. Um, you know, off the serve, they're, they're in system, they're feeding their outsides with a, you know, a fairly, you know, lower flatter set, and they're putting the ball away. We just, you know, our, our blocking has kind of gone to the, by the wayside right now, Bobby. Yeah, you can see uh, Madison uh, and uh, Sasha the Slayer talking about their blocking techniques so they can get tight right. on the next one. Because Maddie blocked back, safe by Cohen. Safe one on there by Maddie. Cavs keep it alive. Right, Burke with the set. Here comes a touch, tough time by Perry. Saved by Cohen. Eklund hustling into the spot. Here comes Maddie to the right side of the attack line. Yep. Sends a diagonal near side. Out of system. Turner hits it here to the right side. Burkle gets it over the block, recovered by Eklund. Here comes Cohen. Here comes Maddie. Here comes Maddie. Yes. Here comes yes. Maddie. Point for the Cavaliers. Let's go. That's a big point right there. That was a, that was a long rally. We had to, two great digs by Cohen and kept that ball alive. Yep. And Maddie put it away. This 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 could be a turning point in this set. Let's go. It really it really seems like it. And uh, you know, Eklin is definitely earning her earning her salt uh, on the court. She's getting some great cross court digs. Frederick sends it here to the outside. Hashman with a high drop on e Eklin there to cover. Cole with the pass to the right side. Here comes Maddie. Maddie blocked back. Hey, gets it good. back up in the air. Eklin hit it to the left side. Here comes Jams. Power tip deep. Recovered by Westlake. Hashman with the attack. Touch up, punch up there. Back to the Westlake side. Let's go. Hit on the left side. Here comes Hashman. Hashman tooled off the block. Yep. Claymeyer with the save. Here comes Eklund. Here comes Claymeyer. Claymeyer with the drop shot covered up by Burkle. Hit to the other side. Hashman trying to get it around again. Hey, Eklund there to it. cover. To Cohen out. there with the bump. Here comes Jam. The wheeler in the Great sky point. keeps on turning. Great point there. Great point. I, you know, that was a long rally. Uh, a number of great digs, and, and we put it away. That's two in a row. Let's keep the momentum going. 11 to 10, Cavaliers now leading in set four. Let's get a run going. Claymeyer, line drive serve, sent here at Turner. Set here to the outside, Hashman underneath this one, cuts it, Cohen saves it. Eklund, here to Maddie. Maddie sends it, oh, oh, it's gonna be a point for the Chaps. Good attack though, 11 to 11. Cavaliers here in set four. She went for that corner shot. It was a good try. I tell you, it's funny, uh, Bobby, when you do see some of these beach players that haven't tipped the ball in a while because they've been playing beach, they do struggle a little bit with that in the indoor side. They really do, and they really need to stay aggressive if, if they don't have that indoor tip down, Pat. Yep. Here comes Chance on the left side, down the line. That's going to go off the ceiling. Newton's going to bump this one up in the air, off balance it by ball. Brockman, drop shot, and transition. Eklund in front of the net, bumps it here to the right side. Maddie with a big yeah. swing, pounds it down the line. Great hey, swing, we Maddie, believe. down the Let's line. Let's go. She is swinging freely. That was a great shot. She, you know, she hit one out of bounds. They went right back to her, uh, you know, right down the line. Great shot. 12 to 11 is going to be Cohen here on the run. Energy picking up here for the Cavaliers. You got to believe. Spinning and set deep. Oh, good layoff there by Newton at the last moment. We're tied up at 12. Yeah, again, again, an uncharacteristic, unforced error 
at a key moment here. Let's get it right back, though. Let's not give them any momentum. One pass, one pass. 12-12, to 12, Cavaliers tied up here at set four. Going to be Genevieve Perry way off and beyond here on the left side. Cuts it here at Jams near side. Set by Eklund. Here comes Wheeler. Wheeler diagonal. Bumped up in the air. Brockman calls for it. Back into play. Head on the roll shot. Recovered by Claymeyer. Eklund with the set. Erie with the slap over. Deep cover. Oh, one arm save by Hashman. Here to the other side by Brockman. Block City. Block City Cavaliers. Yeah, yeah, Block four. City Cavaliers. We'll take it. All right. Abby's coming in. You know, Good. to serve, you know, Good. she's second in the team in aces. Let's see if she can get us on a run here. Yep. Healy's in as well. There we go. Watts out there with Erie, Wheeler, Hamilton, Cohen, and Claymeyer. Junior Watts here. Cavaliers hits it here with the right hand, floats it on over, middle of the floor, set here to the outside. Brockman tries to tip it. Wheeler there to save it. Watts with the set. Here comes Hamilton, oh! and this uh, is going to be the almost the first kill. Oh, gets it over the net. Oh, oh my God! God. It's all right. It's oh all right. man! Hey, I mean that is a miracle play there. That's a great play on the third touch. Almost a kill there for Hamilton. That was played by Hashman, way off the floor, pounded it back over, and that ball was let. It hung on the net and dropped down. A miracle nonetheless, and a good play tied up at 13. Cavaliers respond. Yeah, we need a side out right here. That was a Cavaliers big, big momentum. Cavaliers will respond. They will respond. That was a miracle play. Here we go. Fredrickson floats it out over. Received by Claymeyer. Nail pass here to Watts. Here comes the outside. Keeley again down the line. Set here by Newton. Here the outside. Cuts it. Received here by Newton. Cohen. Sets here by Watts. Here to the outside. Champs off balance. Hits the left side. They have a net violation call. That's yeah, all right. Uh, hit the antenna. Hit the antenna on that. Antenna. Yep, okay. yep. Even at this angle, it's hard to see sometimes. All right, let's get a side out right here. 14 to 13, Cavaliers right. down one. Like they they got to believe. The score wrong here. Fredrickson lines it deep, received here by Wheeler. Good pass here to Watts. So go to the give and go to Jams. Jams blocked back. Cavaliers trying to Find lead out. keep that ball up in the air. Now 14 to 14. Boy, this is uh. I wouldn't necessarily call it gut check. It is uh. Yeah, we're right more. there. It's 15-13. So that you know that play lit up the gym. Um, you know that was a big momentum play for there. You know it looked like it was going to be a kill for us. Uh, Margaret Newton and Hashman made a heck of a play on it, and um, you know we need to get a side out. That's going to happen in volleyball. So we need to get a side out right here. Get some momentum. We need a nice play coming out of this timeout. I mean, this is what you work for as an athlete in these moments. It's what you sign up for as competitors to overcome these moments. You take a break, you regroup, you give it everything you have here at Play Focus Volleyball here for Lake Travis. And, you know, it starts now. And these kids, they fought for this. This is their moment to shine, and let's see if they go get it. Go get them, Cavaliers. Let's go now, one pass. Fredrickson here on the right side. Floats it. Here we see by Wheeler. Set by Watts. Hit by Erie. Yeah. Erie with the go. kill. Nice Cavaliers play. with a point. Right, right, right to our strength. Right to the middle with Cassidy coming out of the timeout. Uh, we had a perfect pass. Taylor Rio coming in. We we need to you know keep this momentum. Let's hit, let's get a few serves. Get a few points. Nary a splash on Lake Erie tonight, but. I think Lake Erie is about to erupt. 14 to 13, 15 by Rio. Hit on the right side. Diagonal cut by Watts. Going to be overpassed. Uh, point for the Chaps. That's a tough one there. Point for the Chaps. 16 to 14. Yeah, out of system. They're out of system a little bit there, and uh, they put a good rip on the ball. But we need to get a block up. I, I you know, we just um, that ball was a pretty free net, and uh, she put it away. Here we go. Hit on the left side. Sends it deep. Received here by Claymeyer. Set by Watts. Hit by Claymeyer on the left side. Two block up in the air. Going to have a point for the Cavs. Net. Point for the Cavs. Net. 16 right. to 15. Who wants it more? Tasha the Slayer in the front row. Let's see if she can go to work. Yeah, guys. We are one block away from lighting up our, our momentum and never looking back. The core of Sasha, Cassidy, even Keeley has gotten in on several blocks this season. This is what we need to see. We need to see the Lake Travis Cavaliers controlling and patrolling that net and not letting us, not letting the Westlake Shafts get uncontested shots cross court. 16 to 15, Cavaliers down one. 
Erie here on the serve, the senior for the Cavaliers. Launches it, spinning serve. Hashman put it up in the air, hit on the left side. They're going to Hashman, try to tool it off the block, recovered by Rio in the mid. Watts with a set. Sasha with the drop, hits it over here, left side. He'll set it across the net. A high bounce here to Rio. Watts Easy. sends it here to the left side. Claim by with the approach and cut. Punched up in the air by Hashman. Dug up, hit, block, block. And it's still alive, it's still alive. Point back here on the LT side. Erie with the pass here to Claymeyer. Claymeyer gets it, blocked back here to Cavaliers again. Watts puts it up in the air. Hamilton with a drop shot, it was one arm save. And a head across, and there you go, Keely yeah, Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, the play. Hamilton show for the Cavaliers. Wow, Cavaliers had to work for that one, but stuck with it, we're tied at 16. I tell you what, there's some great volleyball, inspired volleyball going on right now. Westlake Amen. is not letting anything get the ground. We are having to earn everything, and we are starting to, so. Let's go right here. Let's push for a few points right here. Baldwin on the serve here for the Cavaliers. Gets it over. Received here near side. Set here by Fredrickson. Here to the right side. Hit by Campbell. Oh, that goes right between Rio and Watts. Both kind of looking at each other like they had it. Somebody's got to make a play. Cohen gets a breather. We'll come back in. And 17-16 Cavaliers. Yeah, those are the little back. things you talk about, Bobby. I mean, they're, you know, we got to be ready on defense. we got to be in a defensive position and be ready for that ball. Received here by Claymeyer, set here by Watts here on the outside of Claymeyer on the band and tipped off the block. Fredrickson there to cover, bumped here by Ellie Turner. Head of the right side, pulled, and it gets him through as Casey Campbell. Another out-of-system point. Um, you know, they're, they're doing a good job on those out-of-system balls, and uh, we got to find a way to either block, yep. block, touch, or, or defend them. Absolutely. We've got to neutralize Casey Campbell. Yeah, she's, she's playing well. She's Here's what's going on. She's throwing an extra hitch in her backswing and take. she's throwing the timing. Short serve saved by Rio. Pancake still alive. They'll say that ball touched the floor. Cavaliers, I mean, they, that ball did not touch the floor. We are, I mean, come on. I'm not here to point at the people in stripes about this, but this has not been one of those kind of games where you look at and go, whoa, we've gotten the better end of some of these. Ridiculous. We need to sign out Lake, right here. Lake Travis Cavs claiming that they had the ball up and it looked clean the entire time. It did. Received here by Rio. Set here by Watts. Coming to here on the outside of Claymeyer. Through the block and Good a point. Swing. Good swing. Good swing. splash for Kristen Claymeyer. We needed that ball one. Never Mike yeah. J, ball never lies. Ball never lies indeed. So. All right. 1917, Cavaliers down two. We'll turn it here to Kip Kenna Eklund. Spirit rising here for the Cavaliers. See what you got. Down two, Ackman spins here. it, hits it, hits it on over. Received by Turner, set here to the outside, here to the right side. Campbell sends it long, Ackman pass it. Go, Rio go, passing go. here to the right side. Matty gonna freebie this one. Long freebie here, received by Newton, set here to the outside. Hashman with the approach, received by Rio, saved by Ackman, and hit by Cohen. That's out. gonna be out of bounds, out of bounds. Point for the Chaps, 20 to 17. Yeah, they have us on our heels a little bit. Um, we're on the defense, uh, even on their out-of-system balls, they're putting a good swing on it. And uh, we're, you know, we're, on a, we're on our heels right now. Absolutely. Casey Campbell throwing some interesting timing in her backswing, able to elevate off of a slow approach and taking full advantage of our blockers actually coming down out of the air. That's why the net seems uncontested. Yep. Cross court. We're having a hard time handling the pace that Westlake is able to put on the ball, even when they're not in system. That is very uncharacteristic of any team playing at this level. This man will put that much pressure at the top of the swing through the wrist and making our great defenders, very, very good defenders, miss relatively easy looking yeah. hits cross court. Yeah, that's a good point. Tough one going thus far. Cavaliers down three, backs against the wall. We'll see what uh, what happens here. 20 to 17, Cavaliers serve receive, looking for the side out. Corey Williams on the serve, sends it at Claymeyer. Low pass here to Eklund, going down to Claymeyer. Around the block, down line to friend, and it's out of bounds. Point for the Cavaliers, point for the Cavaliers. Great swing by Kristen. Let's keep it going, let's go right now. Christian Claymeyer taking a full windup off about a 12 foot approach and absolutely unloaded to the middle of the court. That was awesome. 20 to 18, Cavaliers down two. You just gotta believe. 
Kristen Klemeyer sends it middle of the floor, pass by Ellie Turner. Newton get bumped and hit on the left side. Line drives it here at Cohen, set by Eklund. Here to Champs. Champs down the line, does that touch the block? It did not. How did they not touch the block? 21-18. Might be, we gotta stop being so perfect on the line. That's yeah. the seventh shot we missed. Yeah, I agree with you. Match, we're, we're trying to be perfect, so we're trying hard. to put the ball on the ground. You yep. just wanna go off the arm there. 21-18. Spinning surface seat by Claymeyer. Eklund with a set. Sasha, it's Shouston. That's a point that's a nice reach over on Westlink. 21 19. Cavaliers right, still alive. We still got this. Let's go. Kelsey, Absolutely right here. can take this home with an aggressive that's a, serve. That's right a great now. point on our swings. You know, we don't need to have the ball hit the ground. Let's tool it off their arm out of bounds. That is a very difficult shot. Um, you know, we got we to play smart right now. Every point matters. Erie Jams and Maddie up front. Eklund. Clay Meyer and now Kelsey Cohen on the serve. Float nice serve received at Newton. Low pass underneath, hit to the left side. Brockman into the net, okay, into we'll the net, it. into the net. All right, that's the first crack we've seen in a long time by one of their hitters. You know, um, is that Brockman? Yeah, Brockman. that was Brockman here yeah, on the left side. Let's go at her again, let's go at her again. Cohen here on the serve. Gets it, sends it deep here right side. Set here to the outside. Roy, ah, Brock, that was into the net. They didn't even clear the net. Hit by Matt, or Erie sends it deep left side. Bumped around, hit on the left trouble, side. Trouble, Tipped trouble, on over trouble. Eklund, we're in transition. Cohen bumps it, Maddie the machine throws it deep. But that oh. thing didn't even clear the net, that was four. Wasn't even touched by any of our players. All right, we need a side out right here. I, I agree with you, I think that was four. But you know, Maddie's gotta put that ball in play. You know, we, I, I you know, we, we gotta put that ball in play. Let's get a side out right here. I agree. 22-20, Cass Station, got to get fired up here. Received here on the near side, Claymeyer passes it, Eklund with a set, Erie with a kill! Oh, Cassidy. There you go, Cassidy Erie, 22-21. Right, right Wind out 20, each 21. of these points. We will look back on this memory and if my friends, this will be the one where the Cavs bring it back. All right, Abby, Abby we need to keep serving in. aggressive and we need to get the ball in play. We have Keely in here, I like the front line that we have. I like the defense we have right now with Abby Let's running the offense. Let's go black and red right now. 22-21. Bring your mic closer here, Bobby. And it's going to be Watts here on the serve from the right side. Clears the net. Let's serve. Yes. Oh, that's an ace. Once, yeah. twice. There's going to be the hash from the roll shot. Received right. by Claymeyer. In assist of Watts. Hits it. Erie with the slap deep. Punched up in the air. Kept up here by swing. Newton. Burkle with a swing. Oh, that's oh, picked oh. off the block. Point for the Cat. That was off the net. That was not off the block. Point Cavaliers. No, the Point net. Cavaliers. Here come the Cavaliers. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, Abby. Abby Watts ad adding her own usual special spice. I will tell you, Westlake, I mean, I thought that was an ace. So they are getting everything up right they now. They are literally. There oh, oh, pass here to the Cavalier side off the serve. Watts with a set. Here comes Keeley. Keeley down Keeley the line. Hamilton, punched up there by Newton. The Head on the left side by Brockman. Tries to drop it. Wheeler Do there. It again. Do here we again. go. Do transition. Again. Watts sends it. Here comes Wheeler. Wheeler blocked back. Nice block there by Westlake on the right side. 23-22 Cavaliers down one. Point by point by point. Yeah, tough play. Tough play. Tough play. I agree with you. I would, I would have back set that there. You know, Jams came in and, and, and brought the ball up. She had to transition back in her offense, yep. offensive position pretty quick. Exactly. I, I, I think I would have probably went back to Keeley on that one. Um, Keeley's <laughs> jumping high and swinging hard. She didn't, yeah. she didn't kill the first She's one. She's fresh, yeah. But she still has fresh legs. Exactly. All right, what side out right here. One pass. One side. And it's going to be Fredrickson here on the serve for the Chaps. 23-22. Floats it here. Received by Claymeyer. Watts with a jump set. Here comes Erie with a touch over. Well, Received by that. Campbell. Frederickson with a set here to the outside. Brockman trying to get through. Received yes. by Cohen. Watts here with a set. Here we go to Jams. Jams sends a power mm. down the line. Everybody covering. Newton sends it here to the left side. Slaps it deep. Okay. Cut by Watts. Cohen with a pass behind. Here comes the Wheeler. The Wheeler is dug up by Newton. Set up here to the right side. Campbell tries to cut over yes. cover by Newton. Uh, scoop by Watts. Get up, get here up, comes McKenna. Kind of with a swing tipped off. Covered right. by Hashman. Here to the right side, Campbell again. Punch up in the air, okay, Tomahawk okay. by Claymeyer. Here we go. Watts with it. Here comes Eklund. Eklund with a drop. Saved by Newton. Punch up in the air. Comes the attack in the middle by Campbell. Save, save, oh, save, oh. save, save. Hit by Erie deep. In the other side. Hit on the right side. Campbell oh. down. That's oh, out. Oh, dude, oh, dude. That was yeah, point that was for good. the Chaps. Right wow. The chaps. That was great volleyball right there. You know, hard fought point. Great shot by Campbell. 24-22. Come on, Cavaliers, dig in. This, right West Lake, this West Lake team is definitely riding the shoulders of Casey Campbell right now. 
And here's the float server seat by Cohen up in the air. Watts with the set. Here comes McKenna. McKenna cuts and recovered by Newton. We have to set here on the outside. Campbell sends it here to oh. Watts. Cohen with the pass. Here comes Claymeyer. Two-handed drop. That's a point. And they're going to say that's a double. Are you kidding me? It makes that play the entire game. You call it here in the set. Matt. Wow, whatever. Did yeah. you guys see something different I didn't see? Or is that... Yeah, I think that could have been a double. Could have been, been, you know, been. been. You know, when I saw there at the end, um, some really good rallies. Uh, they blocked us, uh, you know, blocked jams. Next time back, she, she tipped the ball instead of swinging. They were swinging freely and aggressive uh, the whole time. Um, you know, that, that was the set we could have had. I felt like that we could have had that set. They fought hard, but, um, you know, Westlake takes it in four. Yeah, well, guys, the, the name of the game here is offensive, offensive, offensive weaponry. At the at the Cav Dome in Lake Chavez, we were lighting it up on every corner of the floor. Here in Westlake, the story is the complete opposite. We got three hitters in double digits. Well, two hitters in double digits, one hitter in single digits. But Casey Campbell, definitely the story tonight, putting this Chaparral team on her shoulders and signing out when she absolutely, absolutely, absolutely needed to. Hey, I mean, we were up seven of the calls. Chaps played great tonight. They, they blocked really well. Cavaliers just didn't have blocks here to go on as well as we I could agree. have. Yeah. I mean, I, I, did, I mean, we, we, we are Team Lake Travis. We're going to be homers regardless. We certainly do want to see them beat Westlake. But, you know, hey, credit to a good team over there. They're starting to play well. And, I mean, that's, that's where the loss against Hayes hurts. Is yeah. You could just be sitting here with a tie. But once you have that happen, boy. But your season's not made right here. If, if the second place finish in district is fine, the run begins after this regular season is done. So this uh, is probably disappointing for a lot of Cavs fans. There's some good things that are out there, some things I think the staff's going to go back to the drawing board on and try to figure out. Uh, you know, a great battle here, a tough match. We wish it could have gone the other way, but credit to that squad over there that came in just a little bit hungrier to win at times in this match. Yeah, I would say, um, you know, probably the, the biggest thing that, that you know, I'm anxious to see the stats, but I, it had to be one of our lower block nights. We just were not, um, we were not blocking in sync. We were not uh, reading their hitters. Uh, they were hitting well, but we, but we just weren't, uh, we weren't adjusting there. Uh, and then I thought we got, in the middle of that match, I thought we got a little complacent on our offense, um, a little predictable. Um, um. And then that last set, it was, you know, Westlake was inspired. I mean, they were they had three or four plays that would make the highlight film, you know, on you ESPN, know. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, they were they were not letting the ball hit the ground. They were making us work for everything, and I think that just grinded on us the after a while. The thing that's disappointing, our seats compared to their seats here, more energy on this side. We had no student they section like here because of the football game on. We got people sitting on their hands. And I mean, I I love you Cav Nation, but we needed more there. And when we come into big matches, we need our crowd on our side, really amped up and ready to go. And maybe, you know, listen, your parents, for everything, respect them, love you all. But in big matches, energy's got to come from everywhere. Not just your team, not just your coaching staff. It's everybody in the building that comes together to believe. And that part was a little disappointing to me to not see a little bit more of the student section out there. You know, hey, it is what it is. We love it. We love this team. And we yeah, want to encourage people to love the same way. Bring some energy. Yeah, it was, it was, they had a lot. Of, you know, when they played us, uh, you know, at Lake Travis, it was pretty light on their side. Yeah. But they brought it tonight. Their, their crowd was, was loud. They were into it the whole match. It was Credit cool. to them. They did terrific. They did. They did. And, uh, you know, um, you know, Westlake just seemed to want it a little bit more at the end. You know, the X's and O's and the stats will be interesting to look at. But, um, boy, they just would not let a ball hit the ground. Those rallies were long. Um, and, and we just, uh, we would get a little tentative at time in there. We would, uh, you know, we'd get a little tentative. And, um, you know, to me, you know, they, they broke the, the, the kind of the numbers here. We won the first set. They win the next three. Um, that fourth set was inspired. Set two and three, I felt like we, you know, they got a lead, and we just kind of let them take it. We did not fight hard enough in set two and three in my mind. That set four I'm fine with. I thought that was a well-played volleyball. That was, great volleyball. That was, well, that was good right. volleyball. Agreed, agreed. But, man, two and three, I just I felt like we got a little flat there when there was no reason for that after winning that first set. I'm not sure what happened there, but right. um, it's got to be disappointing for Coach Boren. 
you know, and uh, the senior class, um, obviously getting over the hurdle and taking that first match was, was great, um, but um, we really wanted to stop this district uh, title streak by Westlake, which looks like it's going to be 15 in a row. Credit to them. I mean, that's uh, it's a heck of an accomplishment for a program. <sighs> well, guys, I, I from, just from, from my perspective, um, I saw... I saw fresh legs and I saw dead legs. Yeah. Um, when I saw when I see the Cavs uh, hitting less than 28 uh, percent uh, in sets two and three easily, uh, you're you're looking at a team that is not only continuing long rallies but wearing themselves thinner each time they go back and forth and back and forth. And Westlake just did not look like they were getting tired. Our, their feet were still getting the ball. In fact, uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but. I would argue that they that their side out percentage got better it did. as the match went on. It did. They um, were siding out at an unbelievable pace there towards the end of that match. I mean, every serve, um, whether they were in system or not, they were putting the ball away. They just had some unbelievable digs that I thought were on the ground and hit the floor, and, and they, they were finding a way, their, their back row. And it was a team win on their side. And, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a great district run by Lake Travis. Um, you know, we still have a few more four matches uh, you know, you know, at this point, we, you know, we need to start you know, looking towards the playoffs as well. And, right. um, you know, getting a second seed, if that's where we end up versus a four last year, you know, in our district will really help. But, boy, I really wanted it for these seniors tonight um, and for Coach Boren to, to put an explanation point on this season and, and on this district run. And um, it's really disappointing. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the pain is part of the path. The disappointment that these kids are going to feel – you know that that has to be something that fuels you to, to to make the next step. That it's a new season now. I mean, the goal was to come in and try to take a district title, and now I, I think you go back in on Monday and say, "Hey, it's a new year. We, we we've got three matches coming up. You got senior night tomorrow night, or excuse me, Tuesday night against Bowie. Then you've got a Ann Richards and uh, Aikens, and then from there you've got time a little bit to recover, maybe get your conditioning back in order." Um, yeah, that surprised me a little. I, you know, I really, um, I agree with you, Bobby. I, I would have, I would have been rotating a few more players in there in the in those middle set, second and third set. I, I, I thought we could have done that a little bit at Hayes, um, just to give them a little mental fatigue break, get their legs a little yeah. fresh for that fourth, fifth set. If hopefully, um, but uh, didn't well, didn't, didn't happen. Didn't go down. Here, I mean, here's the thing I didn't like that was coming out the last couple of weeks that we're talking about peaking and like we're peaking right now. And I said I don't really want to peak right now i want to peak when we start to get into playoffs so true, true. you know I, and I, I you know i think that has different connotations and meanings as to like okay we're playing at a high level how do we get back to that level of you know we're reading the floor really well i mean like we went to jams on the left side a lot towards that end trying to go line i mean that defender's literally right on the line and it's like you know credit to, to westlake's blocking it really didn't create the the alleys that you can make to make big swings and get in the seams but you know, teams are figuring out what you do, and now you've got to make the next adjustment to readjust to the adjustment. Well, and hey, hey, you know, um, got to give their coach some credit. Uh, I was a little surprised Ellie Turner was not playing libero. Margaret Newton, uh, she played well. Uh, she she could have been a difference maker back there for them. That was an adjustment from the first match. Now I don't want to add insult to injury, guys, but I just got an update that uh, we are down 20 to seven at halftime in the football game. So. Uh, uh, we got some work to do on the football side as well. Wowzers. Well, gentlemen, uh, it was a pleasure working yeah, with you. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a lot of fun to bring the dream team together. Yeah, yeah, man. I think we've kind of spoke our piece about. Yeah, you listen, guys. I, I don't want to be overly critical. I mean, I think we're, we're, we're offering our feedback and our, our ideas yeah, as absolutely. to like what happened. We love and respect this team. We all are competitors here, all of us, that we want to see the best possible scenario happen. But. You know, but that that that's part. The pain is part of the path. Like it is a path to figuring out what it is that's going to make this team motor revving again. And you got to tip the tip the hat to Westlake. They're I mean, great. They played, they great they played out there. a very good. I mean, their hitting percentage last uh, match was about 100. You know, they probably hit 250 or, or higher as a team here tonight, and uh, they made some adjustments. But they just played inspired volleyball. Um, they just they really came out here and played some good volleyball. And I thought we matched that intensity at times, uh, and we played well. Um, just not 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 well yeah. enough to get it done. I mean, considering we're in a uh, in, in a notoriously uh, one-sided gym. I mean, you're talking about a gym that is 
Um, Seen plenty has, of champions come through. Yeah, plenty of champions and had uh, and has a reputation for having a high level of energy. For the Cavs to come in here and keep these sets closed, I mean, again, I mean, you saw the edge of Lake Travis. Now you see the edge here at Westlake. Uh, they've got, you know, I don't know that we have a ton of quote unquote work to do, but Mike, uh, to Mike Jay's point earlier, uh, it would have been nice to see a little bit more, uh, uh, a few more faces in the crowd, a little bit more energy on yep. that side. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Lake Travis did bring some energy. They did pep it up at the end of set three and all through set four. I felt like they yep. were just, I mean, it was a game of inches at that point. So hats off to the Cavs, hats off to the Shabs, district champs, uh, 16 out. Uh, that's that's disheartening, but also incredibly inspiring uh, to see that type of dominance in the game. Uh, Mike J, Mike B. It has hey, been great job, Bobby. You brought some great stuff Appreciate here. Thank you so, so much tonight, man, for having me out, guys. If anybody's listening and you have questions on the beach side of things, please, please, please reach out to uh, either the Lake Travis Volleyball Office or you can get a hold of us at projectservebb.com. Uh, that's Project got the uh, slide up there. Yeah. And you've got you've got coaches coming in from from major universities over time. You've got some of the winter training coming up for adults, yeah. and it's not just you know, for kids for adults too. If you feel like getting out there, absolutely, Mike. And and we consider ourselves an academy. I mean, when you when you when you talk about working with some of the best coaches in the country, uh, LSU is here in August. Um, uh, South Carolina, UCLA. We had Cal uh, Cal Berkeley here just a little a uh, few weeks ago. Um, TCU coming in the new year. So you're talking about we're, we're just spreading the brain pan and just really trying to find ideas and new major new matrices that are going to help us train these athletes better with with better key performance indicators, with better um, uh, uh, pass, uh, customized paths to success. Uh, everybody's goal is a little bit different, and and we just try to serve that athlete and that family the best of our abilities. Man. Well, I mean, we'll see if we do get Coach Bourne out here. Uh, I, I I can't imagine it. it It'd be a tough to bring her out here in the interview. So we'll, we'll take one sponsor break. Again, thank you to our sponsors, Keller Williams Realty and Capital Title. Proud sponsors of Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball. We'll step away here for a moment. This is Lake Travis Cavalier Volleyball on KMAX Sports. 3-1 loss here to the Chaps tonight here at Westlake. We'll be right back. Do you love the game of football, wish you could be part of the action? Then become a football official. The Austin Football Officials Association is actively seeking new members to officiate games all across Central Texas. The Austin Football Chapter of TASO, the Texas Association of Sports Officials, provides a two-year training program for new members. Taught by a crew of veteran officials, these training classes meet each Monday night from July through November and include classroom and on-field instruction. You don't need to be an ex-player or a coach to become a great official and have a memorable officiating career. As our officials will tell you, working around student-athletes at all levels of football is gratifying. Plus, you'll develop lifelong friendships with other officials who share your passion for the game. Officiating football is a great way to get into and stay in shape, be a positive role model for student-athletes, retain your competitive edge, and earn additional income. Visit the Austin Football Officials Association online at afoa.ws for more information. That's afoa.ws. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. KMAX Sports is the largest online broadcast company in Central Texas. How large is that? Well, think Mopac Improvement Project, except we're always on budget, our price never fluctuates, and we're always on time. I mean, are they ever going to finish this thing right this very second? I'm stuck northbound at 5th Street. Ah! Bringing your teams to you since 2003. We are KMAX Sports. Well, Mike and what Mike Biesecker, our uh, final here, uh, 25 to 22 with set four. Uh, Lake Travis got it on the board first, 25-19, and you know we got to start with one. It just uh, we did, we did. You know, credit credit to uh, to a Westlake team that brought the heat, and did, they seem to have a lot. I mean, we, we were hearing that they were studying us a lot. They were trying to key in on some things, and you know I think they took the cut shots away from us. 
that, that we've been converting on, took away the line shots, and now I, I guess if you're like Travis, you're just looking at where are the areas that we can continue to uh, to, to convert on and, and, and things that allow us to get more open into space. So Yeah, I think, um, you know, my, my takeaway is uh, we got off to a fast start. We, we had exactly the start we wanted. We played at a high level. You know, we, we kind of got a little flat in the second, third, third, third set. Um, part of that was Westlake. Part of us seemed you know, to see a little flat. I think the biggest thing from here, um, when you think about the loss from last season in this gym, um, you know, that team let that kind of define their season and went on and lost the next two out of three, three out of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's what we need to – that's what they need to, you know, to be talking about. It's like, you know, we – okay, we, we're going to end up probably second in district. But, um, you know, we have a nice path in, in the playoffs. And, you know, we need to uh, learn from this loss and uh, get better and not let it uh, – Yeah. You know, let's not let this loss, tr- you know – turn into two or three because of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, where we're at mentally. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 you're like Travis now. You've got nothing to lose because I, I think, and I think maybe that's what kind of caused this boiling point here for the last week was, you know, we, we you got that momentum from getting that win, and now you got to try to go back and finish. And we, we kind of tightened up a little bit. We, But, I mean, that's – a, kind of natural. I mean, it is still part of the progression of getting comfortable with the, the pressure moments. So, you know, we, we battled out there. I mean, it was sluggish at times. Yeah, the fourth set. I but thought, when you I play thought, a great team, that's what happens. Yeah, I thought I thought, um, I thought the fourth uh, the fourth set and the first set, of course, we won. But that fourth set could have went either way. Uh, they made some ridiculous plays uh, defensively uh, to keep some balls alive that really, really got them some momentum. And we were able to even fight back from that. And get it to, I believe it was 21 21, and, um, you know, felt like we were right there and uh, just couldn't pull it out. So, yeah, you know, I very, mean that very one, close. That one third volley where I think it was Hashman that was practically in the hallway out there yeah. and got that ball to let tipped off the tape and drop down. I mean, it was kind of like a play like Erie made when we were down in that third set, like 22 13. And got that ball over the net. Like, I mean, th- you know, you're going to have some luck plays that happen. You're going to have things that, because of your work, they enable you to. So, yep. I, you know, I th- it, it, it stinks to go home a little bit. This is far from, you know, I, I don't think anybody should go home too sad yeah. to a degree. That's like, well, now it's time for the, uh, the next part of the season. And that's the part we'll get revved up about is get ready for playoffs, find the things that work, and yeah, keep hammering away Yeah, I'd like to see, you know um, – you know, so it's, it's an interesting storyline here, right? So we, we uh, it's, if you just look at sets um, in the district, we were 39-1 and one in sets, 13-0. and 0. Um, You know, now we're 13-2, we're and two and we've lost, um, you know, six out of the last seven sets. So the big question for me is how do you bounce back from that, right? So we have a pretty good team coming in for senior night, Tuesday night. That, to me, we need to go there and send a message and take that 3-0 yeah. and play some inspired volleyball to carry us forward to the playoffs. Let's not let this sit and settle with this us too long. Uh, you know? This could be a rough one for Bowie if, uh, if like Travis really gets their gears on. But I want to thank the Rock and Rev, Randy Fry. I think we, we've analyzed this game to death. Like, <laughs> I think we've, we've, we've covered every every step on the floor. I thought we had a great call tonight. We had a great broadcast with the Dream Team here. As yeah, it was fun. I was really worried. I was like, how are we going to make this work? But I'm like, we're all athletes and people that can communicate. We can figure this out. So, yeah, Bobby uh, was, uh, you know, he brings a lot of a lot of knowledge to the game. I, lo- I love his his breakdown of the, some of the technical plays yeah. that the players are making individually. And uh, I'll look, say this some good volleyball tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll say this for volleyball. Bob. Like I, I feel for him because like if we were doing a, a video cam type of deal where the analysis can leak into the broadcast, it's perfect. But when you're a radio guy and every touch <laughs> is kind of like, like, I'm sorry, Bobby, <laughs> I'm going to cut you off. You're on a roll right here. Nah, he did so a good job. Like, you did a good job of uh, So I didn't want Bobby to feel bad, but it's just sort of like when your radio is different than, than television and that we got we got to get to the, the next point. So Yeah, but it was, um, you know, again, uh, to me, this is gone. This is, this is uh, it is what it is. Um, they fought hard. Um, you know, looks like we're going to get second district. But most importantly is how do you respond from this? You know, how do the seniors, you know, that were here last year and went through this process last year, um, you know, they went on to lose three out of four, uh, two out of three in district in, in the first playoff game last year. Now that, that, let's respond quickly with Bowie, finish out the district, and, and get ready to make a run in, uh, in the playoffs. 
but it was good volleyball. That you was know, fun. I, I mean, it was great match. Both, both like it, was, it was such a great match out there. So. Yeah, both teams were playing playing their hearts out, and um, some very very good volleyball. Um, you know, we, we, if we're nitpicking, we're just trying to <laughs> scratch our heads. Yeah, and yeah, out what yeah. Happened, I mean, it's. Uh, I it was good volleyball. It was fun to watch. It's sad. We we haven't seen this team lose in a while, so it's a little shocking when we when we've had to face it. But we want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, again, Bobby Jones for Project Surf. Check them out, projectsurfvp.com, uh, on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be training back with them, but I'm hitting the road. i got to get on a flight tomorrow to go to Arizona this weekend where it's going to be rainy and cold, so I'll, I'll never figure that one out. <laughs> I, it, it is not our week. That's the same, but we've got a wedding this weekend. I'm looking forward to doing some traveling and being back here in the gym on Tuesday, back in the Cap Dome, last home game of the season. Then the uh, the march begins, and we'll see what what's in this Cavalier team. Congratulations to the Chaps; they they even the series at one. And if, unless something freaky happens, well, you know, we'll we'll be back at it. But they would likely locked into the second seed, or I. Wow. Yeah, I think I think, I think it's pretty much uh, pretty yeah, much second a seed. But but you know, like I said, for me, a quick bounce back with a with a with a good match against Bowie. Let's play. You know, good volleyball. Um, you know, I think I think it was good volleyball tonight. I re- it really was. There was just some, you know, some lapses here and there, and Westlake took advantage, and they played at a high level at times, and, uh, um, you know, they come out with a victory on their home court. But, um, you know, senior night, let's send the seniors out the right way. We can finish off this district uh, uh, with a nice run and be ready for, for hopefully a run in the, in the playoffs. All right, that's going to close up our broadcast. We've been marathon in here, Mike. Boy, <laughs> th- th- we're, we're way over time here. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Again, the producer, Randy Fry, Bobby Jones, Mike Biesecker, Mike Youngblood. We had a fun broadcast tonight, even even in a, in a loss. But, uh, hey, the pain is part of the path. Go get, go get the next one. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you Tuesday night, Lake Travis Senior Night against Bowie here on KMAX Sports. Thanks, Mike.